Chapter 3581 Now it was Zhu Yifin's turn to be startled. Dean Long Chen, have you met Senior Zia Yuhong? I've drunk wine with him twice. It was big brother Zia that saved my life, said Long Chen. To have drunk your fill with the monarch of the Grand Zia, to be brothers with this peerless arrow, it seems that Dean Long Chen is also a figure on that level. Zhu Yifin had a reverent expression when he spoke of Zia Guhang. Zia Guhang had once led the Old Devil Star Field to glory, taking over wide expanses of the Old Devil Star Field's land. He then became the hero of the human race. Originally, Zia Guhang was not a native of the Old Devil Star Field, but his lover was from this place. It was only due to this that Zia Guhang led the heroes of the Grand Zia over to help the Old Devil Star Field. The woman who loved and was loved by Zia Guhang was called Liuo Kingi. She was also exceptionally talented and powerful. Together with Zia Guhang, the two of them were a heavenly match. Their feelings for each other were as deep as the sea, and they were called divine and immortal Tao companions by countless people. With the two of them joining forces, they led the human race in a long campaign against the Old Devil Starfield, contributing unrivaled merit. In their era, the human race's territory crazily grew to the point of unprecedented splendor in all of history. Later on, the Old Devil Starfield's name was changed due to their contributions, becoming the Hanying Starfield, named after them, Zayed Yuhong and Liuo Qingying. However, when the human race's situation took such a huge turn for the better, the interior began to fracture. That was because the old devil's star fields or deposits were simply too rich. After taking over so much land, they immediately began excavating the ore crazily. But who the ore went to became a problem. At the same time, with the human race in such a good state, countless merchants came flooding in from the outside world. Those merchants were like hyenas that had smelled the scent of carrion, and they flocked over. Back then, Zia Guhang proposed to Liuo Qingying to drive away those merchants and only work with the Huayun Trading Company. Unfortunately, when Liuo Qingying raised this proposal, countless people opposed it, especially her own family. They were the most against it. That was because the Liuo clan had made an agreement with the Soaring Dragon Company. The Soaring Dragon Company had given them a huge amount of bribes that caused the Liuo clan's elders to decide on working with them. The other merchants also eyed other powers, forming collaborations with them. As a result, the solid alliance of the All Devil Star Field fractured. At the start, in order to survive, everyone worked together against their common enemies. But when their lives were guaranteed under the allure of profit, this so-called alliance could not endure a single blow. The various powers began to expand their territory, fighting over oars and even starting fights with each other. Back then, the battle was only half won. Hence, Zia Guang and Liuo Qingying proposed to everyone to stop fighting and work together. Once the Old Devil race was fully expelled, they could decide on how to distribute the oars. Regretfully, under the encouragement of the merchants, the people's hearts had long since been clouded by greed. There was only profit in their eyes, and they were fighting over the resources first before anything else. Some people even criticized Zia Guhong, saying that he had helped the Old Devil Star Field because he wanted it as his treasury, using the Old Devil Star Field's wealth to revitalize the declined Grand Zia. Zia Guhong was enraged and killed countless people spreading those rumors, but that only raised more people's suspicions. Hence, the enraged Zia Guhong directly left, not caring about them any longer. He allowed them to destroy themselves. Together with Liuo Qingying, they left this hurtful place that they had fought for. The place where so many of his brothers had fallen over the years only gave him insults and abuse in return. Liuo Qingying was profoundly aware that Zia Yuhong had only done this for her, so she felt even worse than he did. 
Her family, in particular, had done many despicable things in order to fight for more resources. She saw all of that and chose to sadly leave with Xia Yuhong. Xia Yuhong and Luo Qingyi left for a hundred years, and people crazily dug up the resources. There was no one left to fight the old devil race. After a hundred years of rest, the old devil race came to reclaim their territory. As a result, the human race was like a rotting dam. They were instantly blown away like rotting sticks. As for the merchants, they were the first to leave. People were unable to stop the old devil race's advances and retreated on all fronts. It was unknown just how many people died during this period. All the land was lost. Many ore deposits were barely touched, with less than a single percent excavated before they were taken over by the devil beasts. It was only at this time that people knew repentance. It was only now that they knew how foolish it was to force out Zayed Yuhong and Liuo Qingying. They had destroyed their own defenses. But it was all too late. Although they had accumulated a great deal of wealth, that wealth could not be directly transformed into combat power. In the end, countless people died in those lands. They were forced further and further back, all the way to where they had started. There, the human race had a natural line of defense that gave them a brather. The human race was badly wounded and only had less than a tenth of their experts. It was at this time that they thickened their faces and pleaded for aid from Zayed Yuhong. However, Zayed Yuhong ignored them, allowing them to destroy themselves. But when Liuo Qingying received a blood letter from her mother, her heart softened. Keeping it from Zaya Yuhong, she quietly returned to the old devil's star field. When you're just trying to make great content at Navaloon, come, but she had never expected that the ones to await her were the experts of the old devil race instead. They had set up a huge trap for her. A portion of the people in her own family had defected to the old devil race's side and sold her out. In the end, the ones to leave her the heaviest wound were her own family. Even though she was severely wounded, Liuo Qingying still slayed countless experts. Even so, by the time Xia Yuhong rushed over, she was already so badly wounded that despite Xia Yuhong's overwhelming power, he did not possess the ability to save her life. Yuo Qingying died just like that. But before her death, she made Xi Yuhong promise not to exterminate her family. At that time, Xi Yuhong was too shocked and enraged to promise anything. But with Yuo Qingying dying with that pleading expression, there was no way he could refuse her. When Yuo Qingying died, Xi Yuhong was aggrieved. That anger then fell on the old devil race. Carrying the corpse of his beloved, Zayed Yuong charged his way into the depths of the old devil star field, leaving millions and millions of corpses in his wake. It was said that he had pierced the deepest devil sea in the star field's depths and slaughtered his way to the devil world. Ten days later, covered in shocking wounds, he silently left with his beloved's corpse. After that, the Grand Zion nation disbanded, and their final monarch vanished without a trace. No further legends arose about him. As for the Luo clan's people who caused Luo Qingying's death, they were torn to pieces by countless enraged experts. After that, the Luo clan fell apart, splitting into many branches. They only recovered the slightest bit after all these years. But now, they were considered a third-rate power in the old devil star field. People often killed and plundered them. It was unknown if that counted as their retribution. I didn't expect big brother Zia Yuhong to have such a sad past. Long Chen sighed. Even a hero like Zia Yuhong was suppressed by the hands of fate. The heavens were truly cruel to him. Thinking back to the sad expression that had come across his face when they had been drinking wine, he must have been thinking of Liuo Qingying's death. That had truly been a huge impact to him. No matter how strong a person was, they also had a soft spot. Long Chen didn't dare to imagine how Zia Yuong had passed these years. 
If that tragedy happened to Long Chen, he'd have long since become a crazed devil. He would be unable to keep his promise like Xia Guhong and would have slaughtered everyone in the Liuo clan. The Liuo clan sold out Liuo Qingying back then, and now they are selling out the entire Old Devil Star Field, asked Long Chen. A cold chill appeared deep in his eyes. His big brother Xia might not attack due to his promise, but Long Chen wouldn't be caring about it so much. Chapter 3582 In truth, at that time, when the Luo clan caused Luo Qingying's death, their interior was already fractured. The group that trapped Luo Qingying were long since crushed to dust. Actually, those who killed them were also people of the Luo clan. They did this to look after themselves, killing the offenders to appease the anger of the rest of the old devil, Starfield. Their actions were correct. By diverting attention and scattering people's hatred, they made themselves out to be the victims as well. Although the rest of the All Devil Star Field rejected them, they didn't hunt the Luo clan down until they were exterminated. But who would have thought that they would suddenly rise and align themselves with the All Devil race? Zhu Yifen sighed. Originally, people thought that the Luo clan had become a third rate power, and so no one bothered with them. However, unexpectedly, the Luo clan once more sided with the All Devil race. They had established secret transportation formations that allowed them to extract ore from the territory of the Devil Beasts. This allowed them to create the best battle armors and weapons and raise a powerful batch of elites. This was done secretly for hundreds of years. By the time people realized anything was up, it was too late. They were an incredibly powerful threat. With the Luo clan on the inside, the All Devil race could directly enter. Under the Luo clan's directions, their attacks struck the right targets. Countless human territories were destroyed, and their strongholds were annihilated. Furthermore, by using the All Devil race's power, they actually sealed the gateways, cutting off the All Devil star field from the rest of the world, leaving them unable to even request aid. That wasn't all. The Luo clan was doing their best to discourage people and had succeeded in drawing some powers to their side. They even formed blood contracts with the All Devil race. The All Devil race swore using their blood that as long as the traitors helped them unify the All Devil star field, they would not harm a single hair on their heads. They would even allow the traitors to freely mine the ores in this star field. As a result, some weak-boned people believed them and gave up fighting against them. They joined the Luo clan's side, turning sides to point their blades at their fellow humans. Previously, against just the fierce all devil race, people weren't afraid. After all, they were devil beasts. Despite having powerful bodies, their intelligence was limited. However, now, with the Luo clan scheming for them, all kinds of tricks were being used. The human race was repeatedly forced to fall back and took countless casualties. They hated the Luo clan to death. The Luo clan was originally skilled at scheming, so their mental warfare struck people right in the hearts, causing people to despair. As a result, the entire Old Devil star field was covered in a layer of fear. Here, in the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College, I see everyone is a powerful tiger with plenty of fighting spirit. It seems that things aren't as grave as you make them out to be. I don't know about fighting the external forces, but when it comes to fighting the internal forces, it seems that your people are very arrogant. That was true. Long Chen was unable to see the slightest worry in the people of the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College. They were still fighting amongst themselves, spending their energy on their own people. Zhu Yifen shook his head. People are foolish because they don't know their own power. Or perhaps they are afraid that others will not realize just how powerful they are, so they must suppress others to give meaning to their lives. People like that always end up as stepping stones for the experts to climb up. But the world is simply like this. 
let me put it this way without them the world would not produce any true heroes long chen was startled and then nodded as expected this deem was truly wise these words were quite thought-provoking however guo ran didn't understand he couldn't help asking how are they useful zhu yifen smiled they are the stones applying pressure to you the shackles binding your feet and the reins binding your wings heroes either silently die under immense pressure or suddenly erupt if you want to suddenly soar to the heavens in one go you must free yourselves of the stones shatter your shackles and break your reins regretfully you didn't have that courage i was always waiting for you to erupt waiting for you to raise your butcher's blade they are all your whetstones but you refuse to hone yourself against them you only hid and silently honed your blade do you know in order to become a true expert you must cut your way through the thorns and thistles you must possess the will to advance forward bravely for many things you absolutely cannot retreat because once you retreat your blade will crumble only then did guo ran understand he prostrated himself in admiration toward the dean's wisdom but he still had no regrets he chortled if you want a hero then that is my boss he definitely fits your description the best boss has fought for a lifetime if he isn't fighting then he's on the way to his next fight as for me well there is also a place for me the big whetstones will be left to my boss i'll use the small ones zhu yifen bitterly smiled i've really slapped myself in the face this time i've grown old and misjudged originally zhu yifen was planning on properly raising you a ran he truly had a very high opinion of him thus when others bullied guo ran he watched not giving him any help waiting for the day that guo ran would explode from the pressure he was always puzzled about why someone with such good talent as guo ran would be like this no matter where he went he would be a dominating expert experts all had their own dignity so why was this fellow willing to be so cowardly but now that long chen had come he finally understood guo ran was like a vine it didn't matter how long and thick he grew ultimately he still needed to rely on a large tree and long chen was that tree this tree was truly big enough it could block the wind and rain for guo ran it was what resulted in his character so all the dean's efforts and hopes were for naught thinking back he couldn't help feeling regretful all of that great talent was wasted on guo ran seeing guo ran's shameless appearance long chen couldn't help smiling he understood guo ran far too well this fellow liked to slack off and be lazy he wouldn't move until you moved him other than forging and showing off he wasn't interested in anything even when it came to showing off it had to be in the simplest way that saved the most energy have him carry such a heavy burden it shouldn't even be mentioned this fellow was unable to hold up under any pressure then what is the situation of the entire old devil star field like asked long chen seriously up until now the old devil star field as a whole appears acceptable we are just barely capable of fighting off the old devil race after all the various major powers have natural strongholds with the ore veins beneath the land it is difficult for the old devil race to progress past those strongholds only some smaller cities are in a very dangerous state as they are besieged by the old devil race also the Luo clan knows that we are unwilling to watch as they are killed although we can send them resources we cannot resolve the actual problem if this continues for a long time the human race will definitely be at a disadvantage the biggest headache is that the human race is still not in a rush and their fighting spirits are not particularly strong the worst thing is that the Luo clan is constantly spreading rumors 
and under the pressure and enticement, people's hearts aren't united. That is the greatest worry, said Zhu Yifen. Long Chen nodded. Those capable of surviving in the All Devil Star Field had to have their own trump cards. The All Devil race would definitely have difficulty wiping out the human race here. However, as long as people's hearts were in chaos, there was danger. This old man wishes to beg Dean Long Chen for aid. Is Dean Long Chen willing to listen? Zhu Yifen looked at Long Chen solemnly. We are Navaloon, come find us on Google. Go ahead. Dean Long Chen, can you help us resolve this crisis? Lead our human race against the all devil race. I am willing to give up the position of Dean for you, said Zhu Yifen. What the? Guo Ran instantly shot up, not daring to believe his ears. Chapter 3000. 583 Guo Ran couldn't believe his ears. The dean was actually willing to abdicate his position for Long Chen. What was going on? Long Chen shook his head. Dean, I trust that with your methods and wisdom, you must have the ability to deal with the current crisis. This dean was far too steady. That unflustered appearance made him seem unfathomable. He was a true sage. Long Chen refused to believe that someone like him was really helpless in this predicament. Zhu Yifen shook his head. To save people, you must first save the heart. To save flowers, you must first save the roots. If the heart dies, if the root withers, then no matter how many times you save it, it's the same. It will still not be able to escape its fate of being destroyed. The best medicine for saving the heart of the people is a hero, a hero that can lead an entire era. That hero can shine a light for people to follow, saving their souls. It can purify what is rotten. To answer your question, an old man like me doesn't just have an old body but also an old mind. The times have already changed. Even if I do my best and settle this current crisis, it won't change anything. When the next crisis descends, old-timers like myself will already be buried, and the old Evil Star Field's human race will still be destroyed. The human race here is already completely rotten. Hence, we need a new seed that is full of life to give hope to this world, to correct the system of values here, and to unite this plate of scattered sand. That is the only way to truly save the old Evil Star feel. A hero's light can affect generations, even dozens of generations. It can last through a thousand years, through all ages. All people worship heroes and will follow in their footsteps. That will allow them to see further and not be lost within what they see before them. Only when humans have a belief in their hearts do they have bottom lines and no respect and gratitude. Only then can the human race experience a thousand tribulations without falling. A quick look at Navaloon Kam will leave you more fulfilled. Long Chen nodded. As expected of this wise dean, his words were truly moving, and it made Long Chen think of the five sovereigns. They had died for countless years, yet people still remembered them. People were still filled with respect and gratitude toward them. Thus, no matter how chaotic the martial heaven continent became, the light of the five sovereigns continued to shine in their hearts. Even in times of despair, they still had hope. That's an amazing status. Boss, why don't you try it? In any case, it won't come at any loss to you. Gua Ran was moved by this. If they settled this crisis, their names would be immortalized in history. Then that would really be badass. If we must try it, then it should be you. How big of an influence can an outsider like me cause? You are different. You are one of the four heavenly dragon heroes, a disciple native to this place. A hero must be a native in order to be in touch with the common people. Only then can their voice be persuasive, said Long Chen. Nid. No, no. Yuo Ran shook his head like a rattle. I definitely can't. A little person like me can't raise such a big flag. 
This fellow had once more returned to that person who simply wanted to follow Long Chen without worrying about anything. To have him profit and show off, he naturally wouldn't disagree. But to have him do everything himself would make him immediately beat the drum of retreat. You ran, you've learned a great deal during your time in my heavenly dragon divine armor college, right? Now that the college has trouble, don't you think it's unreasonable for you to simply leave? Zhu Yifen looked at Yuo Ran with a smile. Yuo Ran instantly sat up straight. With a bitter expression, he said, Dean, I will never forget your favor of raising me. Even if you have me cross a mountain of blades or a sea of boiling oil, I will not frown in the slightest. But I really can't do this. If I die, then... That is because I didn't study hard enough and my techniques are inferior. Dead is dead, I won't complain. But to have me lead the Heavenly Dragon, Divine Armor College, and even the entire All Devil Star Field, if I die, how would I face the people behind me? I cannot carry this responsibility. Zhu Yifen smiled with a gratified expression. Not bad. I didn't pick the wrong person. After throwing off that flashy outer shell, you are a hero inside. You are mainly lacking confidence. If Dean Long Chen didn't come when the Devil Beast Army came and pressured us when it was a time of life and death, when you had no other choice, you would not flee. You would still raise this flag. For Guo ran to say such a thing, Zhu Yifen was very pleased. This proved that his vision was still sharp, but Long Chen's arrival had ruined his plans. That's enough. Let us do this. Having received the favor of others, when they ask for aid in return, Guo ran, you have no room to leave, said Long Chen. Bus I. Guo ran instantly began to panic. Can you please grow up a bit? You are the Dragon Blood Legion's general. Can't you even do such a small thing? Furthermore, what are you afraid of? Won't your boss be right here the whole time? Long Chen angrily clapped Guo Ran on the back of his head, scolding him for failing to improve. After that, Guo Ran realized that Long Chen was right. He still had his boss to cover him from behind. If he really couldn't do it, he could always shove it all to his boss, and his boss would carry it. Ha ha ha, good. Then with boss's support I will definitely show off in a flashy way this time. Don't worry, boss. I won't make you lose face, promised Guo Ran, laughing confidently. He seemed to already be seeing himself leading an army of millions of battleships, crushing their enemies heroically. Seeing Guo Ran laughing arrogantly, Zhu Yifen smiled. But Long Chen glanced at him. And how will you show off? There are still quite a few people waiting for you outside to put you in your place. Guo Ran's smile instantly stiffened. That's right. Those fellows are all targeting me. How am I supposed to lead them? That will depend on yourself. If a hero wants other people's approval, there is always one shortcut. Zhu Yifen smiled and took out a golden tablet. He then gave it to Guo Ran. Proxy Dean. Guo Ran was stunned after looking at this tablet. What? Are you dissatisfied? The proxy dean is on the same level as the actual dean, with almost the same authority. Once the proxy dean takes their position, they are observed for ten years, and if they pass and contribute great merits, they can be the real dean after a vote from the assembly. The rules are not broken. Dean Kyo Ran, do you have any further questions? Asked Zhu Yifen with a smile. But if I have this tablet, will they really respect me? Guo Ran didn't quite believe it. Does whether or not people respect you have anything to do with this tablet? Asked Zhu Yifen. What? Long Chen couldn't bear continuing to watch. Guo Ran was truly foolish. Even now, he didn't understand Zhu Yifen's intentions. This tablet gives you the right to lawfully kill people. Anyone who disobeys you, you can kill. You kill until they submit. Ow, do you understand? Dean Long Chen is really smart. 
Well, the rest is up to you. I won't send you off, said Zhu Yifen. Long Chen and Kuo ran then walked out of the palace gates. As soon as they did, they were surrounded by a mob. It's time for you to show off. Looking at this hostile group, Long Chen crossed his arms in front of his chest and smiled. Chapter 3584 The area in front of the gates was already packed with people, and there was no getting through them. They had clearly come to argue with Zhu Yifen. By killing people, Long Chen had infuriated them. It seemed that they weren't planning on giving face even to the dean. They were demanding justice. Originally, there were four elders, but now there were seven. That appearance seemed as if they were going to force the dean to hand Long Chen over. Seven elders, all wearing the same robes. Those were robes only to be worn during an assembly. They represented the dignity of the assembly elders. Other than the seven assembly elders, there were also hundreds of late-stage world kings. All of them were coldly glaring at Long Chen with icy killing intent. Clearly, by killing people inside the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College, Long Chen had humiliated the entire college. They were unable to let such a thing pass. Now, hundreds of late-stage world kings appeared. That kind of battle ray was truly a bit frightening. However, Long Chen didn't place these world kings in his eyes. The Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College's cultivators weren't actually powerful themselves. Their essence, Kai, and spirit were cultivated only to advance as quickly as possible. Hence, these late-stage world kings were unable to even display the world king divine radiance. Their true combat power was about that of a third heaven-stage world king in the outside world. Their auras were empty. Without their battle armors, all of these people would not be able to stop a single blow from Long Chen's saber. Seeing how arrogant they were acting, Long Chen sneered. At this distance, if he did attack, he guaranteed that these people wouldn't even have a chance to summon their battle armors before they were sent to see a Yama king. This was clearly the result of living too peacefully and losing their sense of danger. To put it frankly, they were a group of old idiots. Where is the dean? Why has he not come out yet? Asked an assembly elder with a walking stick. Long Chen's guess was correct. They were here to make demands of the dean. Oh, what simple and clean clothes. Are you about to take your leave? Yuo Ran acted like he didn't understand that elder's words, looking at him curiously. This elder didn't understand at first, but he quickly understood what Guo Ran was saying. He was saying that they were about to die in clothes for the dead. Little brute! That elder furiously shouted. Bow. As a result, Guo Ran immediately stepped forward and slapped him in the face, sending him reeling to the ground. Although Guo Ran's movements weren't as natural and graceful as Long Chen's divine face slapping art at this distance, when they were caught off guard, Guo Ran still managed to barely pull it off. A quick look at Nava Loon calm will leave you more fulfilled. You old foji, who do you think that you're talking to? If I didn't have pity for your old bones, I'd beat the crap out of you right now. Guo Ran rolled up his sleeves, pointing and cursing at that elder. Guo Ran actually dared to attack an assembly elder. Everyone was stunned. Following a moment of stunned silence, furious roars rang out and they charged forward. Who, who dares to even touch me? Yuo Ran suddenly raised a tablet, fearlessly shouting at this crowd. When they saw that tablet, everyone was dumbfounded. Proxy Dean? They didn't dare to believe their eyes. The Proxy Dean was equivalent to the actual Dean. After ten years, through a test and evaluation, he could be promoted to the position of Dean. This was a rule known to everyone in the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College. It's definitely fake, called out one person. They refused to believe this. Fake? Why don't you take out a fake for me to look at? Huo Ran disdainfully sneered. 
seeing these people's bulging eyes that were full of shock he was very pleased inside it felt like all his grievances from the last two years were finally released you you that assembly elder was now lifted up off the ground and pointed his cane at guo ran quivering with rage to the point that he couldn't even speak yo what you you old foji did your family not teach you that it's rude to point at others i am the dean now although it's just the proxy dean you better be more courteous to me otherwise i will charge you with with boss what did they accuse you of Yua Ran's mind suddenly short-circuited, and he looked back at Long Chen. A junior offending a senior, said Long Chen. Yua Ran slapped his leg. That's right. Fuck, now it's finally my turn to say this, you old bastards. I am the senior, and if a junior dares to offend me, this senior will naturally slap you. Yua Ran was full of spirits now it was definitely the pleased appearance of a petty person who had achieved his dream you could see none of the calm steadiness that a dean should possess hence these people clenched their teeth furiously they had never dreamed that the dean would bestow the proxy dean tablet to guo ran guo ran was acting like he was number one now not placing anyone in his eyes and yet there was nothing they could do bastard choosing a proxy dean needs to go through an assembly first we refuse to accept your status shouted an assembly elder are you an idiot or have you grown muddled with age the heavenly dragon divine armor college's proxy dean is chosen by the dean only the final evaluation process needs to go through the assembly keep yapping and i'll slap you retorted gua ran disdainfully did this old fellow think that he didn't know anything? Zhu Yifen, get out here. What is going on? Cough, cough. One of those ancient elders roared, but perhaps it was due to his overwhelming anger. He ended up in an intense coughing fit. Shout a bit louder and you'll really be falling and needing to be buried. Don't worry, everyone will come say goodbye. But even if you break your throat shouting, the dean personally gave me the proxy dean tablet. That is his confidence in me. Right now, whatever I say counts in the heavenly dragon divine armor college. It would be best if you are more obedient, or don't blame me for settling our past debts. Guo Ren stuck his hands on his waist as he sneered. Long Chen was speechless as he watched from behind. As expected. Even if you gave a monkey imperial robes, they wouldn't look like the crown prince. He knew that Guo Ran was trying to act like an arrogant expert looking down on all others, but no matter how long Chen looked at him, he only seemed to be a petty rogue who had won a fight. However, Long Chen didn't say anything. Guo Ran was now the main character, and he could do whatever he wanted to do. It wasn't necessarily bad to let him vent for a bit. You a ran, don't get so pleased just yet. Suddenly, a tall and thin man walked out of the crowd, and Long Chen narrowed his eyes slightly. This person's blood kai was like a mountain, and the divine light in his eyes was electric. In terms of the power of his blood kai within the heavenly dragon divine armor college, he was like a crane amongst chickens. He stood out a great deal. This was a true expert, one that shouldn't be much inferior to Feng Xiang, Zhao Mingxuan, and the like. If such a figure then put on battle armor, causing his power to crazily soar, he definitely couldn't be underestimated. Wang Zixu, so what if I'm acting very pleased? Will you bite me? demanded Guo Ran disdainfully. This Wang Zixu was said to be the head of the four heavenly dragon heroes, the strongest of them all. He had always looked down on Huo Ran and applied pressure on him. They could be said to be mortal enemies. Although all three of them suppressed Huo Ran, Wang Zixu was the one who applied the most pressure. I refuse to accept you. According to the Academy's rules, if someone in the same realm does not like the proxy dean, they can challenge the proxy dean to a fight. 
Do you dare to accept my challenge? sneered Wan Zixu. Boss, I can't beat him. What should I do? Yua Ran suddenly transmitted to Long Chen. That's fine, agree. Three days later, kill him. Long Chen eyed Wang Zixu and smiled slightly. Guo Ren needed to show his might, and now someone was sending themselves right over. Perhaps this was what it meant when people said kind words could not advise a ghost that was about to die. Chapter 3585 In terms of power, Guo Ren wasn't a match for Wang Zixu. Moreover, it was just Wang Zixu. Even Zai Liu and Lang Huey were slightly stronger than Guo Ran. That was because Guo Ran had spent too little time in the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College and had been constantly suppressed by all sides, restricting him and leaving him unable to grasp certain resources. Furthermore, Wang Zixu and the others' battle armors were made out of the very best materials. It wasn't just their own bodies that were powerful, they also had the support of their families. Hence, it could be said that Guo Ran didn't lose in terms of talent and intelligence, but in terms of background and wealth. Wang Zixu and the others naturally looked down on Guo Ran, but they were also deeply afraid of his forging talent. It was precisely due to this that they constantly suppressed him. Their sneers and mockery were to cover up their own worry. They were afraid of being surpassed. Guo Ran didn't even have any assurance against Leng Hui and Zai Liu, let alone the strongest amongst them, Wang Zixu. However, Long Chen's words set him at ease. He had no confidence in himself, but he had absolute confidence in Long Chen. Guo Ran was about to agree when a person walked out of the crowd and sneered, what? Are you afraid? If you're afraid, then hurry up and scram out of the heavenly dragon awe. Folk off! Yu Oran kicked that person in the crotch, causing him to tumble to the ground and hold his crotch with both hands, rolling. All day, you only know how to help dogs eat crap. The price of crap has even appreciated in value due to your consumption. Yu Oran kicked him away. This person was quite the unlucky fellow. Normally, he was useless and only knew how to suck up. But this time, he had just arrived and joined the crowd. Seeing Wang Zixu challenging Guo Ran, he immediately jumped in to show his support for Wang Zixu, not knowing about Guo Ran's current status. Wang Zixu, I've endured a long time. Since you dare to challenge me, fine, I'll give you a chance. Don't say that I'm bullying you. You just spent a batch of resources yesterday and fought a large battle, so I'll give you three days to recuperate. Three days later, let us meet on the life and death stage. This time, we will determine who is higher and who is lower, as well as life and death, said Guo Ran coldly. Upon hearing Guo Ran's words, everyone's heart shook. Yu Ran had always been enduring silently in the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College. He had never dared to directly face the other three heroes. That was what resulted in his position being the lowest amongst the four heroes. However, today Yu Ran suddenly grew unyielding. Not only did he want to decide who was stronger between himself and Wang Zixu, but he also wanted to decide life and death. That was astonishing. All right, then I'll wait for you. Three days later, I will smash you and your garbage armor apart, showing you that a lowly ascender is not qualified to be mentioned in the same sentence as us, sneered Wan Zixu. Hearing that, Long Chen narrowed his eyes slightly. This fellow had also angered Long Chen with this sentence. Now, killing intent burned in his eyes. Normally, if others insulted him, he wouldn't care too much. But he was unable to accept someone insulting his brothers. Just from Wang Zixu's arrogant tone, Long Chen could tell just how much grievance Guo Ran had suffered during this time. The moment Long Chen's killing intent was unleashed, the clear sky began to change color, and the air became cold and dark. 
people felt a chill deep in their bones. As for Wanziksu, his back suddenly turned cold, and his hair stood on end. It felt like an ancient beast had suddenly set its sights on him. Hence, an intense sensation of danger welled up within his soul. He stared at Long Chen in horror. Long Chen hadn't unleashed any aura at all. He was only looking at Wang Zixu coldly. However, the killing intent exuding from his body caused the space around him to twist. Everyone was stunned by that. They were unable to imagine how a person's killing intent could manifest physical changes and affect space-time. Only then did they take note that this person was so young that he didn't seem fit to be the dean of the High Firmament Academy. In any case, he was an absolutely terrifying existence. I'll give you a single warning. Keep your mouth clean, or I'll kill you before the three days are up, said Long Chen coldly. His voice was heavy and icy. It didn't contain the slightest emotion. Yet it was filled with the powerful confidence of an expert. It shook people to the core. Wang Zixu's expression changed several times. He wanted to retort, sneer, and express that he didn't care about Long Chen in the slightest. But he didn't dare to. He had a premonition that if he dared to do that, Long Chen would strike like lightning. Thus, he didn't dare to move. He was afraid that the slightest thing might bring forth Long Chen's attack. Theft is never good. Try looking at Navalun Kam, he even felt that he wouldn't even have a chance to summon his battle armor before Long Chen's attack landed. It seemed that none of the people around him could protect him. HMPH, big words. Let's talk about it in three days. Wang Zixu merely snorted and left. However, many sharp-eyed people spotted the light coming from the back of his neck. That was the reflection of his sweat. Did Wang Zixu just get scared away? That made people gasp. The grand leader of the four heavenly dragon heroes had been scared to the point of sweating by someone. If this information spread, just how many jaws would drop to the floor? Boss is mighty. Seeing that Long Chen was able to scare off Wang Zixu with just a gaze, Yu ran chortled, feeling very pleased. What might? You were bullied for over a year by idiots like this. Just how did you survive in this world? Long Chen looked at Kyo Ran disappointedly, seemingly let down. Isn't that only because I had no choice? Boss, I'm not you. Yuo Ran shrugged, feeling a bit wronged. Long Chen took a deep breath and suppressed his anger. The reason he was angry was because he just noticed how much his brother had suffered. However, thinking about it carefully, Yuo Ran truly couldn't do anything. He couldn't beat them. It wasn't as if he could directly challenge them to a life and death match. Otherwise, it would be no different than sending himself to his death. Let's go. Long Chen patted Kyuo Ran's shoulder. He was very angry, but he also felt sorry for this brother of his. Kyuo Ran had never been very tough. For him to suffer humiliation here just to survive made Long Chen feel ashamed. The great general of the Dragonblood Legion had actually fallen to the point of being bullied by anyone. Thinking of this, Long Chen felt aggrieved. He wanted to smash the entire Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College apart. I'm sorry, boss. I've lost you face, said Guo Ran shamefully when he saw Long Chen's expression. Good brother, why are you talking about? It's your boss's fault. I didn't look after you properly, causing you to fall to this point. Your boss swears that starting today... No one will dare to bully you. As for those people that bullied you before, I'll make them kneel and beg for forgiveness. Long Chen eyed the surrounding experts, his gaze as sharp as a blade. As a result, those late-stage world kings felt their hearts pounding wildly. It felt like a sharp blade was pressed against their throats. Hee hee, I know that with you here I'll never get bullied. 
said you a ran with a simple-minded chortle. Let's go. I'll help you improve yourselves. Three days later, whatever grievances you have will be settled. After that, Long Chen and Yuo Ran simply passed through the crowd, vanishing from their sight. Not a single person dared to block them. As for the dean, standing in his palace, he saw everything. Right now, an unfathomable smile appeared on his face. The heavenly dragon divine armor college has been silent for so long like dead water. Now I can see some liveliness, he he. Chapter 3586 Long Chen Yuo Ran, are you all right? Zai Kainkian was waiting for them anxiously at Yuo Ran's residence. By the time Long Chen and Yuo Ran came here, this place was already completely blocked by people. The people on Yuo Ran's side were kicked out and not allowed back in Navalun come when Yuo Ran arrived. He was also blocked by those people. In his fury, he directly sent those guards flying, showing off his proxy Dean tablet, saying that anyone who dared to act so arrogantly again would be directly killed. It was only then did these people learn that Yuo Ran was the proxy Dean. They almost pissed themselves as they fled. Big sister Kain Kian, it went fine. I'm now the proxy Dean. Fuck, it's time to properly settle my debts with those people that targeted me. Yuo Ran lazily flashed his tablet, stunning Zai Kainki and Tuhu, and the others. They couldn't believe what they were seeing. Boss, let me introduce you. This is Tuhu, this is Yang Zhao, this is... Yuo Ran introduced Long Chen to his brothers here one by one. Yuo Ran had been suppressed the entire time in the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College, but... He also had his loyal brothers. They had gone through life and death with him without ever abandoning him. Those disciples were all exceptionally moved to see Long Chen. They had heard far too many stories about him. Today, they were finally seeing the legendary existence. Other than Zai Kainkian and her husband, there were sixteen others that Guo Ran viewed as true brothers, the people that he trusted the most. It was because they were his faithful brothers that they were monitored by the others. However, while Guo Ren was suppressed, his home was still not bad. He had his own independent territory where he could be like a king. Since there were no outsiders here, everyone went into a cultivation room. When Long Chen carefully examined Guo Ren's body, his expression gradually grew serious. Boss, what is it? Your expression is a bit frightening. Am I going to have an early heroic demise? Yuo Ran grew a bit apprehensive. Long Chen then slapped him on the back of his head, cursing, you lazy idiot, why did you abandon the dragon blood body tempering art? After Yuo Ran ascended to the immortal world, due to not having Long Chen's eye on him, he didn't continue cultivating the dragon blood body tempering art. That was because cultivating it was too bitter and took too much time. In order to study forging arts better, he had stopped his cultivation of the dragon blood body tempering art. On the cultivation path, if you weren't rowing forward, you were regressing. After checking Guo Ran's body, Long Chen found that Guo Ran's dragon blood energy had almost completely withered. That was why Long Chen was so angry. With no one keeping an eye on this fellow, he started acting lazy. Boss, it wasn't that I was lazy, but I spent night and day studying forging arts. Otherwise, there's no way for me to live here, said Guo Ran, feeling aggrieved. Bullshit. Do you think I don't know you? The dragon blood body tempering art doesn't need to be meticulously trained. As long as you occasionally circulate your dragon blood, your dragon blood energy won't dry up. You were clearly lazy and didn't want to put in so much work. No wonder you can't even beat those idiots. The power of your body has regressed too much, said Long Chen angrily. This fellow was good in all other areas, but was simply too lazy. 
it had to be known that the support of his battle armor was based on his own power the stronger his own power was the stronger he would be in his battle armor a supreme battle armor couldn't be controlled without a powerful physical body amongst the four of them guo ran's physical body was clearly the weakest and not just by one level search noveloon com for the original if Gu Ran had been willing to suffer and hadn't abandoned the dragon blood body tempering art, even if his physical body wouldn't be as strong as theirs, he wouldn't be thrown so far behind. That was what disappointed Long Chen the most. Boss, a mighty, divine, unrivaled hero like you must have a way to fix things right, said Gu Ran with a smile. It seemed that this fellow was always waiting for Long Chen to find him and help him improve again. His principles were clearly to be lazy and feel good for a while if he could, and be lazy and feel good forever if he could as well. This trait was truly a disease from deep within his bones that couldn't be cured by any medicine. I can't be bothered with you. Eat this pill. Long Chen handed Guo Ran a medicinal pill. Guo Ran directly consumed it without even looking at it. But as soon as it entered his stomach, his expression changed. Ah! Guo Ran suddenly let out a miserable shriek. His clothes were blasted off, and blood poured out of his skin. He collapsed on the ground, frothing at the mouth and twitching, causing everyone to jump in fright. Stop! Do you want to harm your senior apprentice brother Guo Ran to death? shouted Long Chen. Tu Hu and the others had hastily stepped forward to help Guo Ran. Seeing him like that, they thought that he was about to die. Guo Ran was constantly twitching, but he worked hard to wave his hand at them, indicating that he was fine. He then looked at Long Chen. Boss, are you activating my dragon blood? Is there a gentler approach? Yuo Ran's voice contained a sobbing tone. He knew what Long Chen was about to do, so he couldn't help pleading. A more gentle approach? This is the price of being lazy. If you hadn't been lazy, I could let you activate your dragon blood in your sleep. But your dragon blood has almost vanished. If you want to activate it, you must endure pain. The dragon blood must sense your pain and once more permeate every part of you. You spent over a year slacking. Now, in just a day, you need to endure all the bitterness that should have been spread throughout the year. This world is fair, and there are no shortcuts to glory. Long Chen shook his head. In the end, Guo Ran had to pay the price for his own laziness. Do you want to get stronger as well? Long Chen looked at Tu Hu and the others. They then looked at Guo Ran miserably wailing on the ground and didn't immediately reply to this question. Tu Hu clenched his teeth. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, give me a medicine like this as well. I want to suffer the same pain as senior apprentice brother Guo Ran. We do as well. The others also spoke up one after another. Long Chen nodded. At the very least, Guo Ren had done a good job choosing his brothers. So many of them were willing to suffer together with him. That was enough to show Guo Ren's character. These are some fruits. Eat them in this order. Remember, it must be in this order. Otherwise, you will die. Long Chen handed four heavenly Tao fruits to every person. They were one mortal, spirit, earth, and heaven tier fruit for every single one of them. Normally, their true effect would only manifest in the immortal king realm. However, because the heavenly dragon divine armor college's disciples pursued increasing their realms as quickly as possible, their realms were unstable. These heavenly Tao fruits could stabilize that foundation. If the foundation was unsteady, it would be like a tree with no roots. The greater the tree, the more likely it would fall. The heavenly dragon divine armor college's disciples were truly too dependent on their armor. All things had good aspects and bad aspects. The good thing was that their supremely powerful battle armors were capable of increasing their power by ten or even dozens of times. 
Furthermore, as they constantly researched, their battle armors only grew stronger. But the bad aspect was very clear as well. They were no longer pure cultivators. Their own power was far too lacking. Without their battle armor, they couldn't bear a single blow from someone in the same realm. Thus, after eating these fruits, their heads suddenly grew murky. They collapsed and started sleeping. Only Guo Ran continued to wail in pain as if he was being tortured. If you had known that this would happen, would you have acted the same? Watching Guo Ran suffer, Long Chen shook his head. He then sat down lotus style, and a clump of flames appeared in his hands. After a while, a drop of golden liquid appeared within these flames. This liquid was Long Chen's essence blood. As soon as it appeared, a vast dragon might appear and shook this entire space. Chapter 3587 When that drop of dragon blood was forced out from Long Chen's body, his face instantly paled a great deal. Thus, you. Guo Ran stared in shock at Long Chen. I'm going to switch out your blood. This golden dragon essence blood has been absorbed by me, causing it to lose most of its divine nature but it still possesses immense power. It should be just right for you. You can endure it, said Long Chen. Bus I. Yuo Ran choked back a sob. Can you please show a bit of growth? You won't die. You'll just suffer some pain, said Long Chen angrily. No, it's just that, boss. You treat me so well. I... I don't know how to repay you, said Guo Ran, tears streaming down his face. Search Noveloon, come for the original. This move is useless against me. I won't be soft on you. Also, in order to increase the effectiveness of the merger, it must be done in the place that hurts the most. You must endure. Protect your mind and don't let your will slacken. If it fails and I have to once more extract my essence blood, I also won't have much true dragon essence blood left, said Long Chen. Although this dragon blood already contained Long Chen's will, Yuo Ran's will was far too lacking. It might be worse than an ordinary person's. If during the merger, Yuo Ran's will crumble, then Long Chen would have to immediately give up. Otherwise, Guo Ran's soul would be severely damaged. Even his life might be in danger. But once he gave up, the dragon blood's vitality would vanish, and it would be a true waste. At this time, Guo Ran's veins were bulging on his forehead. He was in so much pain that he almost reached his limit. Long Chen then split this drop of essence blood into three portions. First was the biggest portion, then a smaller portion, and then the smallest portion. That smallest portion fell onto Guo Ran's forehead. Thus, golden marks instantly covered Guo Ran's entire body. His entire body quivered, and his eyes rolled up. Wake up! Long Chen shouted, dragging back Guo Ran's consciousness just as he was fainting. Long Chen had the urge to slap him. His willpower was far too weak. Long Chen almost had no confidence in this now. How had the Dragon Blood Legion produced such a marvel? You must endure. Otherwise, my blood will have been spilled for nothing, scolded Long Chen. Guo Ran couldn't even reply. He could barely nod as he strived to maintain consciousness. When the first portion of golden blood merged into Guo Ran's body, his slumbering blood kai finally awoke. They emerged. After all, Guo Ran was also a dragon blood warrior, and he had cultivated the dragon blood body tempering art. Hence, there was not much rejection with this dragon blood. After some pain, he grew accustomed to it. Marks appeared on Guo Ran's body. They were like scales and were his dragon battle armor. Once those marks appeared, Long Chen sent the second portion of blood into his body. This portion clearly didn't make Yuo Ran suffer as much as the first one. He only clenched his teeth and endured. With this second portion, actual scales appeared on Yuo Ran's body, 
but those scales were still tender. As time passed, they continuously grew stronger. After two hours, Long Chen sent the third portion into Guo Ran's body. Guo Ran finally couldn't endure any more and fainted. However, this time Long Chen didn't wake him up. The crucial part had passed. As the channels had been dug, now the water was flowing freely. Even though Guo Ran was unconscious, the third portion still automatically entered his dragon scales. This dragon blood automatically changed Guo Ran's physical body. It was the opposite of when Long Chen managed to merge with it. Long Chen had changed from the inside to the outside. But that was something that Yuo Ran was unable to endure. Thus, Long Chen had thought of a method. As long as he endured the impact of the first and second portions of dragon blood, it would count as a success. Yuo Ran was covered in dragon scales. As his dragon blood was coursing within him, his body was constantly twitching. But he himself didn't feel anything. After accomplishing this, Long Chen sighed with relief. Duo Ran was the one Long Chen worried about the most within the Dragon Blood Legion. With this kind of foundation, he wasn't fit to be a warrior. Sometimes, Long Chen even admired himself. How did he manage to turn this marvel into an expert? Even he found it to be inconceivable. Yuo Ran slept for two full days. During this time, Zai Kain Qian, Tu Hu, and the others finished digesting the heavenly Tao fruits that Long Chen had given them. After awakening, sensing how their bodies seemed completely transformed, they were incredibly refreshed. Their blood and Kai were flowing smoother than ever, and they were filled with energy, energy that seemed several times stronger than before. Long Chen, what did you feed us? How can our power suddenly grow by several times? We're so much stronger than anyone in the same realm. I can't believe it. Zai Kainkian was incredibly excited, to the point that her words were rather incoherent. The others were just as excited. With their new power, they could add many new runes to their battle armors, increasing their overall power. You're not much stronger than ordinary experts. It's just that you finally reached the level of ordinary experts. Your previous selves were far too weak. Wang Chen shook his head. To tell the truth, giving them so may heavenly Tao fruits was truly a waste of natural treasures. Those heavenly Tao fruits could allow them to rise all the way to peak immortal kings without worrying about their realms growing unstable. It would make up for their Russian climbing realms. That doesn't matter. My power is so much stronger now, and I can upgrade my battle armor. I can add more runes. Zai Kyankian didn't mind Long Chen's evaluation. She was still as excited as ever. With every bit of increase in actual power, their battle armor multiplied it. It was due to this that the old devil Starfield's experts pursued cultivation speed over anything else. Increasing their realm was the fastest path to increase their power. In any case, there were existences that relied on their battle armors to survive. Thus, even if their realms were unstable, they didn't really care. This now made up for that fatal weakness, which was that even ten of them in the same realm couldn't beat a single person from the outside world. If they were attacked before summoning their battle armor, they could easily be wiped out. Thus, as long as they weren't in safe places, they would always be wearing their armor. Senior apprentice brother Yuo ran. Tu Hu and the others suddenly let out a startled cry. They saw Yuo ran in the distance. He was already standing, but his body was covered in blood. There was black, sticky liquid on the ground around him. When he stood up, Zai Kainkin hastily turned away. That was because the current Guo Ran was not wearing anything. Guo Ran woke up at this time and hastily took out new clothes. However, he had just taken them out, and they were already ripped into shreds in his hands. Heavens! Guo Ran's jaw dropped in astonishment. 
Those clothes were very sturdy, but they were torn apart like paper in his hands. Only then did he realize that his power had instantly exploded to an unimaginable level. Yuo ran carefully put on new clothes. Sensing the huge changes in his body as well as the dragon blood swimming powerfully within him, he had the urge to cry. It was like he had returned to the dragon blood legion and was once more that dragon blooded tiger. Now are you confident? Long Chen smiled. Ha ha, boss, don't worry. This time I will definitely reclaim my lost dignity. Gua Ran laughed high spiritedly. The next day was the day of their match. Now, Gua Ran and the others were in peak condition. They walked toward the martial stage with soaring killing intent. Chapter 3588 in the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College, and perhaps even in the entire All Devil Star Field, all the martial stages were gigantic. A sect could normally only have one. That was because these cultivators were all fully equipped. Once a fight started, there was mass destruction. If the martial stage wasn't sturdy enough, it would be all too easy to affect the area outside. Moreover, the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College's martial stage was made with the best materials. Those materials were normally used to test the destructive power of battle armors. A martial stage made out of such materials couldn't possibly be easy to break. Furthermore, it was rather easy to repair. Unfortunately, those materials were very expensive and only produced in the Old Devil Star Field. The outside world almost never got a chance to see them. This martial stage looked to only be a few dozen miles wide. But with the formation supporting it, its true size was thousands of miles. At this time, there was already a sea of people around the martial stage. Other than some experts taking turns on duty to guard the city, almost everyone else had come here. The martial stage's grand formation runes lit and then extinguished, lit and then extinguished. They were testing the condition of the grand formation, seeing if any runes had been damaged. When Long Chen, Guo Ran, and the others arrived, countless gazes concentrated on them. However, the majority of those gazes were cold and mocking. In particular, when they looked at Long Chen, their gazes were full of killing intent. That appearance was as if they wanted to immediately attack and eliminate him. That was because Long Chen had come to their heavenly dragon divine armor college and killed people. That was unacceptable to them. It was a kind of disgrace. But very quickly, those gazes became shocked. They suddenly noticed that Guo ran to Hu Zai Kainkian, and the others seemed different than before. Their faces were glowing. It was like they were completely different people. A group of idiots, so stupid that there's no cure for them. Boss, should we just leave after this fight? Why do we have to save these idiots? Seeing those gazes, Guo Ran's fury soared. Long Chen was the person that Guo Ran revered the most. He didn't feel much when others looked down on him, but for them to look at Long Chen with such gazes was unacceptable to him. A person has to finish what they started. After all, you received the favor of the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College. They raised you. Otherwise, you wouldn't have your current accomplishments. The majority of your current abilities are thanks to the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College, right? The Dean himself was secretly looking after you, so you owe the Dean a huge favor. Our Dragon Blood Legion can never owe anyone. Right now, whatever personal debts and enmities you have must be settled by yourself. Isn't it better to not owe anyone anything? Long Chen patted Guo Ran's shoulder and gave him some advice. All right, I'll listen to boss, said Guo Ran. He clenched his teeth as he looked at those people's gazes. Senior apprentice brother Guo Ran, if you leave, you must bring us with you. We want to go muddle along with you, declared Tu Hu and the others. What are you going to follow me for? 
If you muddle along with me, you won't even be able to eat. I'm going to follow boss, said Kua Ran. Tu Hu and the others looked at Long Chen. These people were life and death brothers with Guo Ran. They were unwilling to leave him, and Guo Ran was unable to leave them. Since Guo Ran had cast this problem to Long Chen, they were looking for his response. Before he answered, though, ear splitting cheers suddenly rang out. In the distance, Wang Zixu, Zai Liuer, and Leng Hui were walking over together. The crowd went wild. Compared to Guo Ran's arrival, it looked like the difference between the clouds and mud. These three were native experts of the old devil star field, and they grew up here. They had powerful backgrounds, even within the heavenly dragon divine armor college. As for Guo Ran, he was nothing more than an ascender from a lower world. The immortal world's people had a natural sense of superiority over ascenders and looked down on them. Thus, Guo Ran's rise within the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College was exceptionally difficult. The cheers brought on by the three of them already proved the bias between them and Guo Ran. Even if he had become one of the four heroes, countless people still looked down on him inside. Even if someone was stronger than you, as long as you had the backing of a stronger power, you could just look down on them. Even if someone's current position was higher, so what? You could continue to look down on them, and they would be helpless. Perhaps this was a kind of sickness in the human race's bones. Long Chen and Guo Ran brought everyone over to the front of the martial stage. This place was already packed with people. They were waiting for Long Chen, and they blocked his path. Don't endure, said Long Chen. Boom. Guo Ran immediately kicked the closest person in the chest. That person then let out a grunt and flew back. The people beside him were also knocked away, tumbling back into the distance. Plenty of seats immediately opened. It is forbidden to use martial force here. Guo Ran, you are so brazen, roared the person who had just been kicked. As a result, he had just said this when to who when the others stepped forward and multiple fists immediately beat him bloody. Lu King, you little bastard, you dare to shout in front of the dean? You dare to utter the dean's taboo name? You need to be beaten to death? Lu King was one of Lang Hui's subordinates. Since he already had enmity with Tu Hu and the others, they just took the chance to get revenge on him. After that, the sound of bones breaking occasionally rang out. Tu Hu and the others really did seem like they would kill him. As for those people with Lu King, seeing this scene, they stepped forward to help him. However, the first person was sent reeling back by a punch from Zai Kain Kian. She was quite vicious and used this opening to land a powerful kick to that person's crotch. An explosive sound rang out. As a result, that person's body quivered intensely and his eyes rolled up into his head. He directly fainted without even making a sound. Tu Hu, Zai Kain Kian, and the others were like tigers beating these people until they cried out for their mothers and fathers. What was inexplicable to them was that Tu Hu and the others would previously only be the ones beaten. How were they so ferocious today? Almost everyone charging at them was knocked down with a single punch. The chaos here immediately caused quite a few people to rush over. Although they appeared to be coming to stop the fight, they were really there just to tilt the scales, wanting to suppress Tu Hu and the others. As a result, Tu Hu and the others were full of power and addicted to this feeling. It didn't matter who came. They didn't let these people off. A quick look at Navaloon Kam will leave you more fulfilled. In just a short time, over a hundred people were on the ground. Due to it being forbidden to use martial force in this place, no one summoned their armor. Anyone who did would be directly expelled. Thus, it was only a fight of physical bodies. Yu Ran watched as Tu Hu and the others struck flesh with every single one of their punches. It was truly satisfying. He also wanted to join in but was held back by Long Chen. 
grow up a bit. You're going to fight over this little bit with them, said Long Chen irritably. Stop. Who is causing a scene? Cease this at once. What a scandal. As the chaos grew, the elders were no longer able to sit still. They roared to stop things. However, Tu Hu and the others could not be controlled. They had been suppressed for so long and couldn't pull back their anger. That feeling of having endless energy in their bodies was incredibly refreshing. They had never felt so good in their lives. They seemed to be unrivaled existences at this moment, and they even had an urge to kill people, as if even if gods came, they would kill gods. They pretended that they didn't hear the chidings, and they simply beat anyone who came at them. Not bet, not bet. Youngsters should have this kind of vitality. Suddenly a voice rang out. Everyone then looked over to see Zhu Yifen floating in the sky in white robes. He was laughing as he watched this chaotic scene. He didn't seem angry at all, and nor did he have any intention of stopping them. Chapter 3589 The Dean had personally descended. He even praised Tu Hu and the others, causing countless people's hearts to shake. Ever since Guo Ran had obtained the Proxy Dean tablet, the entire Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College felt like it was about to explode. Countless people begged to see the Dean, and the Assembly Elders even blocked the gates to his residence, but Zhu Yifen never gave them any reply. It was only now that Zhu Yifen appeared. Looking at the chaos, he wasn't angry. Instead, he even seemed to be encouraging them. Now people were sure that Guo Ran's tablet had been given by the dean. Chu Hu and the others were in the midst of beating people to satisfaction when they saw the dean arrive. With the dean here, they felt bad beating people up, thus they reserved themselves, leaving over a hundred experts lying on the ground groaning in pain. They didn't get up for a long time. Dean, you've hidden yourself for three full days, refusing to see us. What are you intending? asked an assembly elder. It was to keep my ears clear of chatter. Even if I saw you, it wouldn't change my decision. Moreover, your banal comments are irritating to listen to, so I decided to avoid it, said Zhu Yifen with a smile, not showing the slightest anger toward the assembly elder's aggressive stance. Zhu Yifen sat down in his specific place. His position was facing everyone and he could also see the entire martial stage. What kind of morality and capability does Gua Ran possess to represent the Dean? Why did you not inform the Assembly first? If you just make decisions on your own, what is the point of having an Assembly Hall? demanded another Assembly Elder, shouting passionately. Of the twelve Assembly Elders, nine were standing together, all of them gloomy-faced, it seemed that they were ready to unite and target the dean. Seeing that, everyone jumped in shock. What was going on? Nine assembly elders were questioning the dean at once. Was that an attempt to force the dean out of his position? They knew that the assembly had almost the same authority as the dean. The reason that the assembly was established was precisely for fear of the dean's authority growing too great. If the dean stubbornly clung to his own course and made the wrong decisions, there would be no one to stop him. Then the entire college would be destroyed. This legislation started with good intentions. This way, the dean and the assembly would keep each other in check, allowing the college to maintain a perfect system. This would avoid fatal mistakes. However, throughout history, although there had been disagreements between the dean and the assembly, Everything had been settled through voting and peaceful settlements. There had never been such a thing before. After all, the assembly elders were absolutely enraged and fighting the dean openly now. Hence, everyone's heart began to pound hard. What kind of time was it for such a thing? The devil beasts were pressing on them from the outside. If the assembly and the dean started fighting, the entire heavenly dragon divine armor college would fracture. After today's battle, you will know Guo Ran's morality and capability. 
as for whether the assembly has any use or not every one i'm sure you know it best said zu yiffen declining to give his own personal opinion boss what is going on seeing this scene guo ran himself jumped in shock the assembly wouldn't really be trying to remove the dean would they without the support of the dean he would be doomed the dean is using you to rebuild the heavenly dragon divine armor college this dean's vision really is far long chen looked at the kamzu yiffen as well as the gloomy assembly elders he smiled support us at Navalun, Kam, although long chen didn't know how zu yiffen would act exactly he could see that he was a wise elder everything was under his control in comparison these elders of the assembly were worthless straw bags they couldn't even see what kind of time it was they had lived all this time for nothing zu yiffen what are you intending if you don't give us a clear explanation today all of us assembly elders will immediately vote to cast you out as long as eleven of us agree you will need to abdicate your position as dean shouted an assembly elder threateningly according to the academy's rules if the dean did not handle things properly severely affecting the collegist's safety then the twelve assembly elders had the authority to impeach him if eleven of them agreed then they could remove him from his position hearing this the millions of experts around the martial stage were completely silent they could only hear their own heartbeats this was a huge affair beyond anything that they had experienced you've united nine of you so you're just missing two more zu yiffen smiled calmly saying in truth i've tolerated you for a long time seeing you walk further and further on your paths of courting death i gave you many warnings but you ignored them all you those assembly elders expressions immediately changed zu yiffen didn't give them a chance to speak continuing the twelve elders of the assembly are supposed to mutually control the dean this was the rule made by the heavenly dragon divine armor college it was an ancient lesson inherited from the high firmament academy afraid that the dean's authority would grow too big if a shameful dean appeared it would bring about the downfall of the college do the twelve of you assembly elders still remember the number one objective of the assembly the assembly elders must be upright not using their position for personal desires they cannot touch the college's wealth all things must be considered from the viewpoint of the college as a whole they must always be thinking of the college loyal to the assembly they would die to uphold the assembly's sacred justice let me ask you have you done any of that zu yiffen's face grew strict and even his voice grew cold as a result those assembly elders expressions all changed a touch of panic appeared in their eyes the current assembly has long since changed you say that you are loyal to the college loyal to the assembly that you would die to uphold the assembly's sacred justice tell me were you upholding the assembly's sacred justice or were you simply upholding the profits and face of your families right now which one of the twelve assembly elders is not a major businessman which one is not using their own authority to benefit their families do you really think that i don't know about all those things you did the assembly only possessed a sacred justice for the first thirteen generations after that they were seduced by privilege and profit the corruption in the assembly grew until you were all fighting each other for profit regardless of means regardless of honor and shame what kind of time is it for you to be stuffing your pockets as much as possible what time is it for you to be suppressing the college's talents your eyes can only see the profits before you but not the crisis pressing down on you you can only be called the peak of foolishness what right do you have to be assembly elders zu yiffen grew angrier and angrier as he spoke until his voice was like thunder shaking the air shaking the nine heavens his voice even contained killing intent that made their hearts turn ice cold dean 
the time for my fight with Guo Ran has come. I hope that you permit this battle. Just then, Wang Zixu walked forward. Guo Ran was startled. What was the meaning of this fellow running forward at this time? Was he challenging the dean's dignity? This fellow is on the side of the assembly elders. He is challenging you now to turn the tides, to twist the crux of the battle. If he kills you, he will be the proxy dean. Then, when he stands on the side of the assembly, even the dean might not be able to punish the assembly elders for their sins. This battle will decide their life and death, said Long Chen. He had seen such a thing many times. Wang Zixu had no choice but to walk forward. Guo Ran was too foolish. Knowing that this was the time, that this was the chance for him to display his abilities, he cleared his throat and shouted, I swept through the four seas and crossed a thousand mountains, causing huge waves between heaven and earth. My battle armor's divine blades could settle all lands beneath the heavens. I am the unrivaled hero, Kuo Ran. Wang Zixu, do you have any final words to say? If you don't say them now, you'll never have a chance to do so in the future. Yuo Ran appeared on the martial stage, appearing incredibly domineering and wild. In the eyes of the disciples of the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College, he seemed like a different person. His previous yes man self had changed to the point of even saying such an arrogant and shameless verse. It stunned people. A loser general is all you are. What face do you have to be so arrogant? Wang Zixu also came onto the stage. Just as both of them were on the martial stage, the grand formation activated. Rays of divine light then enveloped the martial stage, a sign that the battle was about to start. Tu Hu and the others' hearts instantly clenched. Chapter 3590 Guo Ran and Wang Zixu appeared on the martial stage a few meters away from each other. They coldly looked at each other, brimming with killing intent. My boss taught me, and after knowing shame comes bravery. Have you not found that I am no longer the old Guo Ran? The current me has undergone a heaven toppling transformation. Let me tell you, this is the result of all my hard work in secret. As for you, you are still thinking of the old me that was constantly suppressed. Today is the last day of your life, declared Guo Ran arrogantly. Long Chen himself felt his face reddening a bit when he heard this. Guo Ran really was as shameless as ever. What secret hard work? Was that not the result of Long Chen's efforts? The current Guo Ran had abundant blood kai, and divine light flowed in his eyes. As his blood circulated, vague waves of a sacred and holy aura came from him. That was the specific aura of the true dragon. Long Chen had already fully merged with the true dragon essence blood. That blood had sunk into his bones. Hence, as long as Long Chen didn't use it, others would have difficulty sensing it. As for Guo Ran, he had just merged with it and had yet to fully control his aura. Thus, the Kai of the true dragon was leaking out. It made Guo Ran appear full of a holy and sacred aura. It was truly intimidating. In the eyes of the heavenly dragon Divine Armor College's disciples, Guo Ran had gone through a heaven-toppling transformation. It was unbelievable. Most importantly, the current Guo Ran was full of arrogance and confidence. He gave off a sense of ease as if everything was within his control. Such ease made people think that he was unfathomable, a deliberate act to mystify others. No matter how much you've changed, you're nothing more than a lowly ascender. What qualifications do you have to be mentioned in the same breath as us? Some people are born naturally above others, while some should simply lay at the feet of the strong. As for you, no matter how strong you are, you are not fit to be anything more than a servant, sneered Wang Zixu. In front of that provocation, Guo Ran didn't get angry. Instead, he smiled slightly. Keep acting arrogant. Keep acting wild. Keep up your display. Let me see just how you rein it in once we start. Cut the crap. 
summon your battle armor let us decide life and death as wang zixu said this his body suddenly shot toward guo ran reaching him in an instant his saber slashed down on guo ran everyone let out startled cries although wang zixu had warned guo ran in advance he didn't actually give him any chance to prepare this attack was far too sudden blood merged armor how can that be zai kainkin cried out in shock her expression changing blood merged armor was a secret art of the highest level in the heavenly dragon divine armor college it split the battle armor into two portions one outside the body and one inside just as the name implied the blood merged armor was used to merge the armor into the body hiding it beneath the skin it could protect a person's bones and internal organs better at the same time it allowed them to fight without summoning their armor the inner armor could also work with the outer armor to once more raise a person's combat power it was one of the highest secret arts of the heavenly dragon divine armor college furthermore it was said that a person would only be qualified to train in it once they became an immortal king however wang zixu was only a late stage divine lord clearly his family had gone against the rules and transmitted this secret art to him in advance with the blood merged armor wang zixu's saber whistled through the air at guo ran like a bolt of lightning even before his saber arrived he already caused such a powerful gust of wind that the entire space quivered this attack was something that would make even late stage world kings change their expressions even if they had summoned their complete battle armor they might not necessarily be able to block that attack the metallic ringing rang out and a whirlwind blew around guo ran the astral winds shook the formation causing it to quiver slightly people then saw a static scene wang zixu was still in his slashing posture as for guo ran he was holding a golden battle saber and blocked wang zixu's attack for a moment everyone was completely silent wang zixu's full power attack was actually easily received by guo ran the winds caused the formation to boom so no one doubted just how powerful wang zixu's attack was and yet it was unable to shake guo ran in the slightest boss really is the boss this power is too powerful guo ran held his saber with a single hand at this moment boundless power was coursing through his body no matter how wang zixu's power tried to press down on him he was as steady as a boulder immovable guo ran's eyes became filled with wild heat long chen had said that the current guo ran possessed a tenth of his power so guo ran wanted to know just how strong a tenth of his boss's power was and just like what he had imagined his boss really was the boss a tenth of his power was enough to let guo ran completely dominate this battle he was unrivaled within the heavenly dragon divine armor college as the two sabers clashed an ear-piercing rumbling rang out and sparks flew the two of them were still competing in terms of power find the original that novel loon come everyone looked at the calm duo ran who seemed completely relaxed just how strong was the current duo ran even without summoning his battle armor he could block wang zixu in his blood merged armor state wang zixu's expression also changed he had originally been thinking that if nothing unexpected happened he would kill guo ran with this one move he hadn't expected his full power attack to be blocked furthermore guo ran seemed to not be using any effort at all so a bad premonition was born in wang zixu's heart so what if you have the blood merged armor at most it can raise your power by three times you think that little bit of power is enough to beat me even if you sneak attack me you cannot shake me in the slightest snorted guo ran he suddenly shoved his saber forward wang zixu instantly felt an immense force strike him he couldn't help retreating 
two long grooves appeared in the ground beneath his feet he was pushed all the way to the edge of the barrier before stabilizing all the experts watching gasped and looked at Gyo ran like he was a monster just what was going on with him how did he suddenly become so terrifying after staring in shock at Kyo ran people also couldn't help glancing at someone sitting at the corner of the martial stage they then stared at that mysterious and terrifying black-robed man it was only after this man arrived that Kyo ran transformed Kyo ran was so powerful that even the assembly elders expressions changed they looked at Zhu Yifen and saw that his expression was still calm, as if everything was as he had predicted. He didn't show any fluctuations from this scene, and that made their hearts clench. Just then, runes appeared on top of Wang Zixu's body. After that, pieces of battle armor appeared, covering him. He had finally summoned his outer battle armor. At that moment, his aura grew explosively, instantly rising dozens of times. His battle armor rumbled and the earth quivered. The martial stage beneath his feet became covered in cracks. Even Wan Zixu's heavenly howl, battle armor has appeared. Heavens, he directly summoned his strongest battle armor. Startled cries rang out from the heavenly dragon divine armor college's disciples. All of them had different sets of armor, for use on different kinds of battlefields and against different kinds of opponents. Wang Zixu had sixteen battle armors, and his current set was violet gold. It was the strongest of his sixteen battle armors and was actually passed down in the Wang clan. After Wang Zixu advanced to the Divine Lord realm, he obtained the inheritance of the Heavenly Howl battle armor. However, people had never seen him use it. Gua ran, summon your martial heaven battle armor. Today I will completely crush you so that you are convinced. Wang Zixu's killing intent overflowed after he put on this battle armor. His voice had a metallic ringing in it now. He then pointed his saber at Gua ran, his sharp aura locking onto him. Chapter 3000 Five hundred ninety one. The heaven howling battle armor's runes flowed, and a rumbling sound rang out as if the heavenly Dao's were roaring. When heavenly Dao energy poured into the armor, the entire battle armor seemed to merge with the heavenly Dao's. Long Chen was secretly astonished. The heavenly dragon divine armor college's inheritance was truly terrifying. Could a battle armor really replace cultivation? The battle armor was merged with heaven and earth. That was just like a normal cultivator's manifestation, no. They had the same result, but through different processes. It was no wonder that the old devil, Starfield's cultivators, didn't care so much about cultivation. A single battle armor could completely make up for what they were lacking. At this moment, the heaven-howling battle armor's runes circulated on top of it. Long Chen suddenly realized that this heaven howling battle armor had Wang Zixu's manifestation carved into it. He was using the battle armor as a vector, turning his manifestation from illusory to solid. The creator of this armor was definitely an incomparable genius. Thinking of this, Long Chen couldn't help prostrating himself in admiration toward the person who came up with this. The path of cultivation was truly endless. Countless geniuses constantly appeared, and any kind of cultivation when taken to the pinnacle could be a major Tao. Wang is Ixu's aura sword after summoning the heaven-howling battle armor. The space around him constantly twisted. It was like a volcano was about to erupt with power that could destroy heaven and earth. Seeing Wang Zixu's unrivaled aura, those assembly elders smiled. Zixu is already capable of activating half of the heaven howling battle armor's runes in the Divine Lord realm. Once he advances to become a world king, he will be able to control the second generation heaven howling battle armor and match a divine venerate devil beast. Then will a little all devil race be anything to be afraid of? said one assembly elder proudly, twirling his beard. 
This assembly elder was an expert from the Wang family. As Wang Zixu's power was their Wang family's power, in his opinion, the dean's position would sooner or later be Wang Zixu's. HMPH, our heavenly dragon divine armor college, has Wang Zixu, Zai Liur, and Leng Hui. There are three peerless heavenly geniuses, all in the late divine lord realm. They will quickly reach the immortal king realm. With the support of their battle armors, they can sweep through all the devil beasts within the world king realm then. Heirs, no need for us to save the other powers. In a few years or decades, once all of them are ground down and weakened, our heavenly dragon divine armor college will be unrivaled. We will be the ones to right this chaos, saving the old devil Starfield from its crisis. Then won't the entire Starfield belong to us? Some people are too soft-hearted and don't have a vision that can see far enough, snorted another assembly elder. Naturally, one of the people he referred to was the dean, Zhu Yifen. The assembly felt that there was no need to worry about other powers. After all, the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College could defend against any dangers. The All Devil race definitely wouldn't dare to attack their college first. While the other powers were ground down by the All Devil race, their Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College would lie in wait. Once they were wounded, the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College would dominate. In the end, they would be the saviors of this world. Wasn't that the better decision? As for the other powers, if they were grateful, then good. If they were resentful, who cared? History was written by the victors. At that time, the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College would reign supreme. Others had to follow them or die opposing them. Who would dare to do anything to them? However, the dean stood his ground regardless of the assembly's opinion, forcing them to help the other powers. As a result, their heavenly dragon divine armor college was paying quite the price. The advantage of their natural stronghold was lost, and the assembly elders were very dissatisfied with that. Seeing how powerful and shocking Wang Zixu's potential was, they were even more sure that their plan was the wisest and most far-sighted one. Those elders then casually glanced at Zhu Yifen. They found that he was acting like he hadn't heard them, and just quietly watched the martial stage. On top of the martial stage, Gua Ran looked at Wang Zixu, whose aura was like the sea. After that, he nodded. Not bad. You do have some smarts to summon your heaven-howling battle armor first. Otherwise, you wouldn't even have a chance to summon it. Ignorant fool, hurry up and summon your martial heaven battle armor. Let me see if you've made any improvements in the garbage armor that you've modified countless times, snorted Wang Zixu, Navalone, Kamguo Ran's martial heaven battle armor was also very famous. That was because the martial heaven battle armor was completely unique. It was not one of the tens of millions of battle armors from the college's blueprints. It was Guo Ran's self-invented battle armor. It had to be known that the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College's battle armors were all created by the most talented seniors. The runes, usage, and specifications were all very strict. Nothing could be the slightest bit off, or it would affect the final quality of the armor. As for Guo Ran, he stubbornly clung to his own path, creating a battle armor that belonged to him alone. In truth, his battle armor was first invented on the martial heaven continent. Through constant improvements, it had become his current martial heaven battle armor. When Guo Ran first arrived at the college, he said that he would create his own armor and countless people mocked him. After all, the first sets of armor that Guo Ran made were truly a joke. They were blasted away by a single punch from others. A quick look at Navaloon Kam will leave you more fulfilled. However, Guo Ran was not discouraged, and he persevered with his own style. He had constant failures and constant improvements. But despite countless failures, his determination was never shaken. Yuo Ran's willpower was the weakest except when it came to forging items. 
In that regard, he had astonishing perseverance. Furthermore, he was very confident in himself. His martial heaven battle armor continuously grew stronger and more perfect. He rose step by step through people's mockery and jeering. Relying on this battle armor, he won the dean's praise and became one of the four heroes of the college. Furthermore, every little while, Yuo Ran's armor would improve as if there was no limit to it. Yuo Ran's potential was truly shocking. Hence, people very much wanted to know just how much Yuo Ran had improved his martial heaven battle armor. However, when people looked at Yuo Ran, he simply shook his head. Idiot, do you think that the martial heaven battle armor is all I have? You are wrong, very wrong. The martial heaven battle armor is just something I use to draw your attention. Do you know how hard I studied in the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College? If I didn't stand out, I wouldn't gain any support. But if I stood out too dazzlingly, I'd be killed by some old fellows who don't care about their faces. In the last few months, four late-stage World King Bastards have sneak-attacked me, trying to kill me and probe my bottom line. You all thought that my martial heaven battle armor was my ultimate battle armor. Today, I will show you my strongest state. Yuo Ran was clenching his teeth by the end. Endless fury erupted from within his heart. After that, he extended a hand. The next moment, black scales appeared, slowly covering his body. Moreover, every scale possessed its own independent rune. When every rune linked up, a terrifying pressure crashed out of the armor. This wave of wild devil Kai gave people chills. This is a battle armor made from devil, dragon black crystals. Where? Where did he get devil dragon black crystals? exclaimed an assembly elder. A devil dragon black crystal was one of the apex divine materials of the old devil star field. It could be refined into devil dragon tungsten steel and was so hard that it was almost unbreakable. Even a tiny bit was worth an enormous amount of money. In the heavenly dragon divine armor college, there were only three battle armors on this level. They had been sealed for millions of years and had never been touched in all that time. Furthermore, this black battle armor on Guo Ran's body was clearly newly made. The runes were still not fully carved, which meant that this armor was only half complete. Suddenly, a black saber appeared in Guo Ran's hand. When Long Chen saw the form of that saber, his heart pounded wildly. Chapter 3000 592 Dragonbone Evil Moon The shape of that black saber was precisely that of Dragonbone Evil Moon. Its shape, length, and size were all identical. Seeing it, Long Chen felt a painful pang in his heart. Evil Moon had been his strongest weapon on the martial heaven continent, and also his most trusted companion. Ultimately, it was destroyed in the final battle of the continent. Now that Long Chen saw Evil Moon once more, he felt immense sadness but also a bit of gratification. It was like he was seeing the untamable Evil Moon again. Dragonbone Evil Moon's shape was aggressive and ominous. Endless Black Kai came out of it, shaking people's hearts. Although Guo Ran had only imitated its outer appearance, it still stunned people. Search Noveloon Com for the original. With a black saber, black armor, and endless black kai, the current Guo Ran possessed a strange aura. This armor seemed to have come from hell. Standing on the martial stage, he was like an envoy that came to reap lives, an existence that could look down on all living things. People only stared at him, dumbfounded. Even Zai Kain Kian, Tu Hu, and the others didn't dare to believe what they were seeing. This was also their first time seeing Guo Ran in this state. Where did you get Devil Dragon Black Crystals? shouted Wang Zixu. Devil Dragon Black Crystals were far too rare. Even the entire Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College didn't possess enough of them to create a full battle armor. 
Normally, the divine material refined from devil dragon black crystals was used on the edge of the best divine weapons. It might be used for the edge of a saber or the tip of a sword to strengthen the weapon. Such a weapon would have a far greater strength when it came to shattering armor. However, Gyoran's battle armor and saber were clearly made out of countless devil dragon black crystals. Thus, when he took out this set in front of everyone, everyone was completely dumbfounded. Wang Zixu's voice even contained immense envy. Where did I get the devil dragon black crystals? Weren't they given to me by you? Back in Crescent Moon Bay Devil Beast Trial, you hunted me down, and I ended up having to flee into a dangerous area, a devil dragon nest. There, I was chased down by countless devil dragons. I ended up fleeing to the bottom of their nest, whereupon I saw a giant vein of devil dragon black crystals, and spent a whole month excavating all of them. He <laughs> he! Do you not remember your expression from when I came out of the devil dragon nest and returned to the college? You failed to kill me, and I actually profited from the disaster. I slowly refined the devil dragon black crystals bit by bit, stealthily creating this devil dragon battle armor. After creating this armor, I swore that I would one day use the dragon bone evil moon that I created from these devil dragon black crystals to cut off your head. That is the only way to express my thanks to you, said Gua Ran, grinding his teeth. Everyone's heart pounded wildly. Back in the Crescent Moon Bay, Gua Ran had mysteriously vanished for over a month. They had thought that he had run into some mishap, but he still managed to return alive. At that time, Gua Ran was covered in blood, and half his body was gone. He appeared exceptionally miserable. After Guo Ran returned, he never mentioned why he had vanished. At that time, people were very curious and made guesses. Now that Guo Ran brought it up, they understood. So Wang Zixu had actually tried to kill Guo Ran in that hunting ground. But when Guo Ran fled, he ended up profiting, escaping to a devil dragon nest and gathering so many devil dragon black crystals. Only now did people realize why Guo Ran had declared this to be a life and death match. So there was such enmity between the two of them. Bastard, devil dragon black crystals have always been considered divine materials by the college. Any disciple who finds any must immediately report it. Guo Ran, you selfishly hid these divine materials. You have violated the college's rules and deserve ten thousand deaths, howled the assembly elder from the Wang family. Devil dragon black crystals were exceptionally precious. It could be used to create a top-grade world domain divine item. If a disciple obtained any or discovered the vein, they should report it to the higher-ups of the college. They could not keep them for their own use. The college knew not to be stingy. Any disciple who handed them over would be given rewards. Anyway, Devil Dragon Black Crystals were one of the highest level divine materials, and in the hands of a disciple, it would be a waste of a natural treasure. From the refining process to using it to create divine items, a mistake in any step would ruin this treasure. Hence, if an ordinary disciple obtained any Devil Dragon Black Crystals, they would choose to give them to the college to obtain things that they could use. Furthermore, people had very few chances of obtaining any devil dragon black crystals. To get a single piece the size of a fist would make someone cry with joy. But the amount of essence that could be refined from a fist-sized chunk was only enough to make an embroidery needle. However, Guo Ran had used devil dragon black crystals to refine a complete weapon and battle armor. People were unable to imagine just how many devil dragon black crystals he had obtained back then. Fuck your mother, you're the ones who deserve ten thousand deaths. All of you are in cahoots, a real snake pit. You've repeatedly tried to kill me. Why should I give you a treasure that I obtained after barely surviving death? Let me tell you, I don't feel the slightest affection for the heavenly dragon divine armor college. 
I've even thought that once I completed my divine armor, I would crush the entire heavenly dragon divine armor college. Yuo Ran raised his head and roared. The anger that he had been suppressing for so long burst out like lava. You, you forget favor and kindness. I knew that you were trash from the start. A little lower world ascender, you all forget your sects in the end, shouted the Wan family's assembly elder. Zhu Yifin, take a look. Is this the proxy dean that you chose? Do you hear him? He wants to destroy the entire heavenly dragon divine armor college. Zhu Yifin, you've grown muddled with age. Or are you blind? You actually chose him to be the proxy dean. Today, if you don't give everyone an explanation, how do you have face to continue being the dean? The other assembly elders shouted their criticisms. Zhu Yifin had tried to find trouble for them previously, and now they had a chance to turn the tables on him. As for Zhu Yifin, he continued to ignore the assembly elders. Even in front of countless eyes, he had no intention of explaining himself. Everyone was dumbstruck. Just what was going on? Was the dean really thinking about destroying the heavenly dragon divine armor college? How was that possible? Ha ha ha, do you see? Even now, you still have a bias against me for being a lower world ascender. You arrogant fellows, all of you are prejudiced idiots. For the assembly to be run by vermin like you, what hope is there for the heavenly dragon divine armor college? If it weren't for the dean showing me favor, what business would the life and death of you idiots be to me? Why would boss and I work so hard for you? But since the boss agreed, I, Gyuran, have accepted this work. I will carry it out. But I am no saint, nor do I know how to repay enmity with kindness. Our dragon blood legion only repays blood with blood, teeth for teeth. I will settle things right here, right now. Dragon blood battle armor. Guo Ran's voice was icy and furious. After that, his devil dragon battle armor rumbled and countless scales lit up. A majestic dragon cry resounded throughout heaven and earth. Also, the martial stage beneath Guo Ran's feet crumbled and the void exploded. Following that dragon cry, Guo Ran seemed to have become a black devil god. He then charged at Wang Zixu. A black saber image struck the top of the barrier and pierced right through it. What? Even late stage world kings stared in horror at that sight, completely stunned. Now, Long Chen's pupils shrank slightly, and an expression of disbelief appeared in his eyes. Is it? The first form of Split the Heavens, Chapter 3593, The Aura of Guo Ran's Attack, was identical to the first form of Split the Heavens. Furthermore, that aura was just like Long Chen's when he used it. Long Chen was stunned. He had tried to teach Guo Ran the core technique of the heaven splitting divine sect. In fact, he had tried to teach the others as well. Long Chen hadn't hoped for them to learn the ninth form of split the heavens, but just the principles behind it, that kind of unrivaled will. That was of great importance to an expert. The nine forms of split the heavens could be markers for their cultivation. On the martial heaven continent, the dragon blood warriors were very close to the heaven splitting divine sect's disciples. They often drank together and exchanged pointers. They had almost no secrets between them. Thus, Guo Ran and the others might not be able to use the nine forms of split the heavens, but they had a great understanding of this technique. What Long Chen hadn't expected was for Guo Ran to be able to unleash split the heavens in the immortal world. With the support of the dragon blood battle armor, the power of this attack even shocked Long Chen. When this saber fell, it pierced through heaven and earth, and the barrier was cleanly cut through. This imposing aura that could even slay gods was the essence of split the heavens. Search Novelum, calm for the original. Wang Zixu was horrified. Even before Guo Ran's saber fell, 
that terrifying aura completely locked him down. Heaven and earth froze around him. In that instant, there was nowhere for him to go. If he wanted to live, he could only face it with all his power. Guo Ren had compressed all of his power into this attack. Clearly, this attack would truly decide victory or defeat, life or death. This was a saber that did not care about anything else. Either you die or I die. Heaven howling wrath, heavenly god slash. Wan Izixu roared along with the heaven howling battle armor. After that, countless runes lit up, their light flooding into his saber. A giant illusory saber image then appeared to face Guo Ran's saber. It was another heaven piercing saber that stretched into the clouds. Boop. The two divine weapons slashed at each other in front of countless gazes. As a result, the heaven shaking explosion from the collision made others feel like a sun had exploded in the middle of the martial stage. The blinding light stabbed their eyes painfully. Terrifying astral winds then unfurled. Without hesitation, people summoned their battle armors. They had just put them on when they were blasted away by those astral winds. The spectator stands were as weak as paper in front of these terrifying astral winds and were blown to bits. Only Long Chen and Zhu Yifen remained in their original locations. The others had been blown far into the distance. When the astral winds weakened and the divine light faded, people saw that the martial stage had been destroyed. It no longer had its original form. The defensive barrier on top of it was gone without a trace. People then looked at Kuo Ran. The runes on his black armor were gone. This attack had exhausted all of its power. Not too far in front of Guo Ran, in a small crack of the shattered martial stage, Wang Zixu was hacking up blood. His battle armor was gone, and half of his body was destroyed. He was staring in shock. His only remaining hand pushed him backward. He no longer had any of his former arrogance. His whole body was quivering, and blood continued to gush out of his body. He lost. Wang Zixu actually lost. People couldn't believe their eyes. Wang Zixu was the head of the four heavenly dragon harrows. He had also inherited his family's strongest heaven howling battle armor. His power was unimaginable, but he actually lost to Gua Ran. The head of the four harrows lost to the bottom of the four harrows. Furthermore, it was in one move. Countless disciples' voices quivered. Some people, who had looked down on Guo Ran before and provoked him, now felt terror. Xi Liur and Leng Hui were also terrified. Although they were conceited, they knew that their power was truly inferior to Wang Zixu's. But the powerful Wang Zixu was defeated in one move by Guo Ran, his battle armor destroyed and his body on the verge of death. They looked at Guo Ran and then at the Kandin. After that, they looked at Long Chen, who still had his hands clasped behind his back, his face like a bottomless well. Their hearts thudded. The heavens of the heavenly dragon Divine Armor College were about to change. Upon thinking of how they had constantly opposed and suppressed Guo Ran's development, cold sweat dripped down their backs. The sound of metal boots stepping on the martial stage rang out. It was like thunder striking people's hearts. Guo Ran walked over to Wang Zixu with his saber. You, don't come here. Grandpa, save me. Wang Zixu cried out in terror. His voice already contained a sobbing tone as he hastily looked to his family members for aid. Stop. A figure flew through the air rushing at Guo Ran. It was a late-stage world king in golden armor who came to save Wang Zixu. Although Guo Ran had defeated Wang Zixu with that attack, his armor's runes had dimmed. He had clearly used up all his energy and could not stop the attack of a late-stage world king. Furthermore, based on this elder's speed and manner, it seemed that he was planning on killing Guo Ran. Hence, two Hu Zai Kian and the others cried out in shock. They wanted to go help Guo Ran, 
but they were too far. They couldn't make it. However, that late-stage world king had just approached the martial stage when a flame sword slashed down. His body, along with his battle armor, was cleanly cut in half. The next moment, the ruined battle armor fell to the ground along with a charred corpse. Just like that, a late-stage world king was slain. Only at this time did people look up in the sky to see a beautiful woman with a flame sword in her hand. Flames continued to gush out of her body. This is a life and death match. Did you take this to be a joke? Of course, if anyone else is tired of living, then come interfere. Let's see if your neck is tougher, or if Hua Linger's true fire sword is harder, said Long Chen coldly. Huo Linger stood there, flames weaving beneath her feet. She was truly like a flame goddess. After absorbing Bian Zhu flame, Huo Linger with the true fire sword was not much weaker than Long Chen. People stared at Huo Linger in horror. They had never seen a flame spirit before and had no idea who this beautiful young woman with raging flames around her was. However, based on Long Chen's tone, she was clearly their companion. People were more shocked than ever. Guo Ran was already terrifying enough, but Guo Ran's boss was even stronger than him. Not only that, this flame maiden had also appeared, killing the Wang family's late-stage world king without the slightest effort. Guo Ran, I'm begging you, let me off. We are from the same sect. Spare my life. What no one had expected was that since Wang Zixu couldn't flee and no one was coming to save him, he actually knelt on the ground, kowtowing like a bird pecking for food. Yuo Ran's armor was retracted, revealing his face. He then looked at Wang Zixu fiercely. After that, a lone black saber stabbed through Wang Zixu's chest and out his back. Chapter 3000 594 Guo Ran's heart didn't soften in the slightest in front of Wang Zixu's begging. His saber pierced through Wang Zixu's chest, and he lifted him off of the ground just like that. Stop! The Wan family's people roared furiously. The Wan family was extremely powerful in the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College, possessing tens of thousands of it experts. That they only dared to roar and not a single person dared to step forward. That was because the death of their late stage world king at the hands of Huo Linger had completely broken their courage. In the end, when they saw a truly ruthless person, they didn't dare to move. As for the assembly elder of the Wang family, his eyes almost popped out of their sockets. Wang Zixu was their Wang family's greatest genius in history and he was also their only hope. If Wang Zixu died, their Wan family would fully decline. However, an old fellow like him was powerless to save Wang Zixu, and veins throbbed on his forehead. He could only roar at Zhu Yifen. Zhu Yifen, are you blind? How can you allow your disciples to slaughter each other? Ah, uh, not waiting for Zhu Yifen's reply, Guo Ran raised his head and laughed. Disciples aren't allowed to slaughter each other. And yet, when he tried to kill me, I didn't hear you say a single thing. So his life is important, but mine is that of an ant. Let me tell you, even if the heavens collapse right now, with my boss present, I will still kill Wang Zixu. No one can save him. Guo Ran lifted Wang Zixu into the air with his saber. His expression was rather frightening. Long Chen sighed inside. Guo Ran had been suppressed for too long and was completely erupting today. This was precisely the day Zhu Yifen had been waiting for. Regretfully, this little fellow knew how to endure far too much and only dared to release this fury after Long Chen arrived. It can be hard to make great work when it's stolen from Novel Loon. Come, Guo Ran, don't kill me. I beg you. I don't want to die, I want to live. As long as you don't kill me, I'm willing to be your attendant. I'm willing to be your servant. I only ask that you spare my life. Wang Zixu was held in the air. 
with every word a sharp pain ran through his body but with his life in gua ran's hands he was powerless face he didn't care about it any longer and begged for mercy if you had known that this day would come would you have acted the same way you bullied me humiliated me and blocked my cultivation path i was able to endure all of this because cultivation is inherently unfair but you are completely unforgivable you killed my brother do you know how to bow died thundered gua ran clenching his teeth as he stared at wang zixu hearing two bows name to whose body shook that was his little brother that had passed back in the hunting grounds however two who had always thought that his brother died to the devil beasts only now that you ran mentioned him here did two who learn just how unjust to bow's death was you damnable bastard you actually used his life to threaten me and force me out brother two bow was so enraged that he killed himself to stop you do you still remember my words from back then i swore that i would cut off your head as a sacrifice to his spirit snarled buo ran killing intent exploding out of him no wang zixu let out a cry of despair buo ran suddenly pulled his saber out of wang zixu's body and slashed it through the air wang zixu's head instantly flew off however there was no blood because wang zixu's blood had long since run dry this one slash did not just cut off wang zixu's head but also extinguished his soul the genius of the wang family was fully dead grabbing wang zixu's head with one hand kiwa ran looked up into the heavens and roared brother to bow i kiwa ran have accomplished my promise to you after that roar Guo ran began to bawl. Two Hu and Tu Bao were his closest brothers here. They had started following him before he even began to stand out simply due to having similar characters. In spite of the dangers of following him, they had still done so. During that hunting trial, Guo ran had long since known that those people would try to suppress him. Hence, he had hidden himself at the start, not wanting to face Wang Zixu. At that time, if he were to fight Wang Zixu, he would simply be sending himself to his death. However, who would have thought that Wang Zixu would be so exasperated as to actually capture Tu Bao in order to threaten Guo Ran? At that time, Guo Ran had been hiding in the dark. But even knowing that he couldn't beat Wang Zixu, he was prepared to fight Wang Zixu to the death when Tu Bao directly self detonated in his rage. Guo Ran could only just watch as his brother died in front of him. After that, Guo Ran's exploding killing intent directly exposed his location. It was at this time that Wang Zixu chased him all the way to a dangerous place like the Devil Dragon Nest. Having vanquished his mortal enemy, Guo Ran should be happy. But thinking of how powerless he had been that he couldn't even save his own brother, he simply wept in grief. Long Chen walked onto the stage and patted Guo Ran's shoulder. Of everyone here, he was the one capable of understanding Guo Ran's emotions the best. Guo Ran had never wanted to be the boss because he was unwilling to endure having such power. That profound feeling of powerlessness could tear a person's heart apart. But there was nothing he could do. After all, Tu Hu Zai Kain Kian and the others all relied on him. If he fell, they also wouldn't have good endings. The pressure on Guo ran, the pain in his heart, only he could understand. Yet, he had to act like he had a plan to give everyone confidence, while he himself wasn't sure how long he could endure. That feeling was completely unbearable to him. Now that he had avenged Tu Bao, the emotions that he had suppressed for so long erupted. Don't cry that's about enough brother tu bao's spirit definitely wouldn't want to see you like this comforted long chen after crying for a while guo ran felt like all those emotions that he had been holding back were released after he stopped crying he seemed to be a completely different person as if a curse had been undone tu bao's death 
had always been a heavy weight on him. Sai Liur, Lang Huey, don't you also refuse to recognize me? If you want to challenge me, I definitely won't retreat. Anyone who wants to fight me can come right now. Yuo Ran wiped away his tears, took a deep breath, and pointed his black saber at them, his gaze sweeping across the crowd. Zai Liur and Leng Hui's expressions changed. They didn't dare to make a sound. Wan Zixu was dead, and they all knew their own power levels. How could they dare to challenge Guo Ran? As for the others, there was no way that they could challenge him. Although there were others amongst the senior generation who were stronger than Wang Zixu according to the college's rules, they were not qualified to challenge Guo Ran. Furthermore, they weren't blind. The winds of the heavenly dragon divine armor college had completely changed. If they stepped out now, it would be no different from courting death. Anyone with a brain could see that the dean was supporting Guo Ran. He had publicly torn off any pleasantries with the assembly. Moreover, Guo Ran had shaken everyone by killing Wang Zixu. Now, the dean would be making his move on the assembly. The entire Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College was probably about to go through a cleansing. If they came forward to challenge Guo Ran at this time, it would be opposing the dean. If that happened, they definitely wouldn't have a good ending. Although the two of you also targeted me, you never killed my brothers. Due to our relationship as fellow disciples, as the proxy dean, I won't cause trouble for you because you didn't give me a reason to kill you. But some people won't have that ending. Gao Guandi Yu Chang Hui Lai Zia Chang Gu Yi. After Guo Ran listed off over thirty names, those disciples' expressions all changed. Come out and face your death, shouted Guo Ran. After that, an uproar erupted. Chapter 3595 The people that Guo Ran had named were all well-known geniuses within the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College. Although their fame didn't reach the level of the four Heavenly Dragon heroes, they were so famous that almost every disciple recognized them. They were Wang Zixu's left and right hands. For Guo Ran to shout their names at this time, was he planning on completely eradicating Wang Zixu's faction? Guo Ran, what do you think you're doing? As soon as you become proxy dean, are you going to abuse your position for personal reasons and wipe out anyone who opposes you? Are you trying to become the tyrant of the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College? shouted an assembly elder. Yuo Ran coldly snorted. If I was abusing my position, I'd have directly dragged out Xiliur and Lang Huey. Other than Wang Zixu, I hate them the most. Xiliur and Lang Huey turned pale. They understood that they had bullied Yuo Ran too hard previously. Now, Yuo Ran had a grudge against them. Na Vilun, come, however, the path of cultivation is not one of kindness. There are only limited cultivation resources, and naturally everyone fights for them. In this fight, the winners are kings, and the losers have no right to complain. Although they suppressed and targeted me, they did it openly and only against me. Although I hate them, I have no reason to kill them. But the people that I named just now, they are all accomplices to evil. During my time here, They've done so many unconscionable acts with Wang Zixu. Every single one of them has the blood of other disciples on their hands. They thought that they would be able to commit atrocities because they were with Wang Zixu. Let me tell all of you, you are now reaping the seeds that you planted. Today is the day of settling karma. Shouldn't you hurry up and accept your deaths? What are you waiting for? shouted Kyo Ran. People looked through crowd at the people that had been named. All of them were quivering badly, their eyes full of terror. Suddenly, those people knelt on the ground. One of them shouted, Dean Guo Ran, we were controlled by Wang Zixu. We admit we did many bad things, and we know that our sins cannot be forgiven. But I hope you can give us a chance. Let us die on the battlefield. 
we are willing to be the vanguard and charge into the devil beast army let us do one final thing for the heavenly dragon divine armor college to repay the favor of raising us hearing that everyone was moved these people were all elites amongst elites to kill them just like this was truly a pity if what they were saying was true then they had repented and would use this kind of death to show their dignity quite a few people were nodding their heads inside to know their wrongs and change that was acceptable after all this was a special circumstance and they couldn't be inflexible they needed to use whatever resources they could a nice dream in life there are some bottom lines that people cannot touch if they are touched they must pay the price there is no room for negotiation do you think establishing some merit will protect your lives is there really such a nice thing in this world snorted kua ran hearing kua ran's rejection that person furiously shouted in life who commits no wrongs we trusted wang nizixu and that was the only reason we were drawn off of the correct path can it be that as proxy dean you won't give anyone any chances have you never made any mistakes kuo ran disdainfully said that was due to your own idiocy you wanted to follow wang zixu in other words you're pushing all the responsibility onto a dead person that in itself is the conduct of a coward do you lack a brain are your eyes blind you simply listened to wag zixu's orders is that so then what is the point of your head i am from the dragon blood legion and even my boss the highest commander of the dragon blood legion has told us if one day i go astray and massacre the innocent if you are powerless to convince me to return then do not hesitate take advantage of while i still trust you to stab me in the back and kill me do not feel any guilt in your hearts do not feel bad if you really are unwilling to part then you can also die alongside me in the next life we can once more be brothers these words moved everyone present even the calm dean was astonished everyone looked at long chen a peerless expert was capable of saying such words it was truly shocking wasn't it said that all true experts had absolute confidence in themselves how could they have doubts about themselves you are you but we are us the college raised us spending endless blood and sweat could it be that the academy is going to kill us just like that does the college not know how to be pragmatic if we die on the battlefield we can lessen the casualties of the heavenly dragon divine armor college we don't want to use merit on the battlefield to make amends we just want to use the final light of our lives to repay the college why is that unacceptable shouted that man emotionally now everyone felt caught in a difficult position these heavenly geniuses had harmed their own sect it didn't matter what the reason was it was unforgivable however killing them like this really was a pity furthermore for them to want to repay the college in their last moments was correct when people were about to die they could do something good first quite a few people wanted to plead for mercy for them as well the main thing is that if you do go to the battlefield will you become turncoats at the last moment at this moment long chen who had been quiet all this time finally spoke causing everyone to jump with his words you you you're spouting nonsense slandering people how could we do something so shameless shouted that person in shock and fury suddenly he let out a startled cry he was dragged over by an invisible force and landed on the martial stage uh he screamed as flames enveloped his body those flames were burning him and yet his screams never stopped it was as if he was enduring unimaginable pain this move of mine is called the heavenly flame soul refining heart questioning art no one can lie under the effect of this technique do your best said long chen indifferently he then glanced at guo ran guo ran was first startled 
but then understood that Long Chen wanted him to ask the questions. He loudly demanded, What is your name? Gu Yi, that screaming disciple, hastily answered. Curiously, after he answered the question, he stopped convulsing, as if the pain had vanished. Who is your father? Who is your mother? How many wives does your father have? Which one looks the most beautiful? Which one has the best figure? Aya, it can be hard to make great work when it's stolen from Navaloon. Come Guo Ran's questions ended up resulting in Long Chen kicking him. Long Chen now had the urge to beat him. What kind of time was it? Millions of eyes were on him, so what was he asking such a thing for? Boss, I was first asking some questions that everyone knows the answer to. That way, it proves that he can't lie and proves that your heavenly flame soul refining heart questioning art is effective, claimed Guo Ran, feeling aggrieved. Long Chen was speechless. This fellow was the epitome of soft mud not being able to turn into a wall. Zhu Yifen actually wanted to turn him into a hero, but this fellow simply didn't have the making for such a thing. He couldn't even ask a few questions before getting sidetracked. Zhu Yifen's expression was also rather odd. It seemed that he wanted to smile, but at this solemn time, he couldn't. Otherwise, he wouldn't be able to maintain the situation. When Guo Ran stopped asking questions, Bu Yi began convulsing and screaming again. He suddenly shouted, Please, kill me. I can't endure it any longer. I'll tell you anything, anything you want. I'm a mole that the Luo clan nurtured. It's not just me in the college. There are many others as well. What? The These words caused a huge clamor amongst the crowd. People stared at Gu Yi in disbelief. Chapter 3596 Gu Yi's words shook everyone. The only one whose expression didn't change was Zhu Yifen. It was as if he already knew about it long ago. Bastard, you traitor. You are the one who caused the death of my second brother. Dai. A streak of light flew toward Gu Yi. It was a golden arrow, unleashed with maximum speed, and it arrived in front of Gu Yi almost as soon as it was unleashed. Fortunately, Guo Ran was prepared and swung his saber, shattering the arrow. Is he also one of the spies? asked Guo Ran. Yes, Gu Yi directly replied in the affirmative. Only when he answered the questions did the soul burning fire settle. When this person's attack failed, he suddenly grabbed an elder and pointed his weapon at the elder's head, shouting, I'm innocent. This is clearly Gu Yi slandering others. Don't force me. Despite saying that he was innocent, all his actions proved that he was a traitor. The entire crowd tensed. Every person summoned their armor. At this moment, Long Chen also put away his flame technique. He couldn't be bothered to keep it up. Just looking at the dean's current expression, he knew that the dean had known this long in advance, and that everything was within his control. Just as the dean had previously said, he had laid the road for Guo Ran, just waiting for Guo Ran to erupt and walk down it. Guo Ran was supposed to be the hero saving the old devil Starfield from calamity, but Long Chen's arrival caused the plan to change. As expected, wise people had terrifying restraints. Suddenly, the traitor that had captured an elder stiffened. His battle armor slowly fell from his body, and he found himself unable to move. What, what is going on? He cried out in terror. This novel is available on Noveloon. Calm at this moment, the dean finally stood up. Looking at that person, he said, You Kinkwen, one hundred and ninety-seven years ago, you met a woman and were seduced by her beauty. You were willing to become her captive. Afterward, she revealed her origins, informing you that she was a descendant of the Liuo clan, Liuo Min, and that the Liuo clan was going to do some heaven-shaking matter. At that time, you were afraid because you realized that she only approached you as a spy. However, you did not manage to resist her allure. After that, 
the Luo clan's promises to swayed your heart, and you became a pawn of the Luo clan within my heavenly dragon divine armor college. It was only three years after you became a pawn that you noticed that it wasn't just you. Even within the assembly, there are three people bought by the Luo clan. Am I right? The man called Yu Kinquin was shocked. This was all top secret. Even he himself didn't remember the exact timing, but Zhu Yifin was not the slightest bit off. Yu Kinquin, how dare you? I call you brother, but you betray us. Tell us, do you even have a conscience? roared a late stage world king. Yu Kinquin seemed to instantly age for decades. He knelt on the ground and knew that it was over for him. Whoever is a spy, step forward yourselves. Don't force me to name you one by one. Don't hold on to wishful thinking and bluff your way out. I will only give you one chance. Whether or not you can grasp it is up to yourselves, said Zhu Yifin, looking over at everyone. Ah, fine, fine. Youngsters must be wary of fighting. Middle-aged people must be wary of perversion. And old people must be wary of greed. As expected, the words of the ancients do not deceive me. I hoped to bring my family to glory, but instead I will go down in history for my infamy. Aha, I have let down my ancestors. An assembly elder suddenly laughed miserably. After that, he struck his own head, killing himself. His corpse then fell to the ground. A light breeze blew, blowing up some dust and dirt, giving this world a mournful touch. Quite a few people lowered their heads and stepped forward. Seeing those people, everyone was stunned. There were hundreds of them. They had never dreamed that a glorious power like the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College would be infiltrated to such an extent. Furthermore, these people all possessed certain power within the college. They were powerful figures in their own right. Only people like this had value to the Luo clan. After an instant's sticks worth of time, there were 347 people to step forward. Seeing so many spies amongst them, the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College's experts fell to chill. Their hearts were cold, as were their backs. Chu Hu Zai Kian, and the others' jaws dropped. They were unable to believe it. There were several elders amongst these people that they were familiar with. For them to admit to being spies now, these people felt like they were in a nightmare. No one else. I'll give you another instance sticks worth of time. This is your last chance. Zhu Yifen looked over everyone once more before indifferently closing his eyes. Navalun, come after that. No one else stepped forward. Time passed bit by bit and the millions and millions of experts didn't make a sound. There was only the sound of nervous heartbeats and breathing. So the dean is actually so amazing that everything is within his control. Yua Ran stood beside Long Chen with an admiring expression. When that incense sticks worth of time passed, Zhu Yifen slowly opened his eyes and sighed. Everyone's fate is their own. I gave you your chance but you didn't cherish it. Don't blame me, then. Zhu Yifen formed hand seals. Suddenly, terrified cries rang out within the crowd. The armor that certain people were wearing began to contract on their owners until they were crushed into head-sized clumps of metal. What the? This scene horrified people. Over ten battle armors had destroyed themselves. That was an alarming sight for them. It dumbfounded people. Zhu Yifen shook his head. At such a time, instead of thinking of repentance, you were still hoping to muddle your way through. It is clear just how blinded by greed you are. There is no saving you. Every single one of you, every time you encounter the Luo clan, every time you do any exchange with them, I am aware of it. When people get old, they lose interest in most things, but gossip and talking are always interesting. Without keeping a grasp on that, I would be failing in my duty. Zhu Yifen's words fell in every single person's ears. At this moment, 
no one dared to continue underestimating this ever amicable dean who always seemed absent-minded only now did they realize what a terrifying existence he was for the rest of you that have stepped forward congratulations you saved your lives take off their armor and hand them to the discipline hall dozens of people came forward taking those people's armor what shocked people was that these people were all late stage world kings and no one else recognized them now they felt that the dean was even more unfathomable starting today dean kuo ran has full authority within the heavenly dragon divine armor college i formally announce that the heavenly dragon divine armor college is entering a state of war anyone who questions dean guo ran's decisions will be punished to the harshest degree after saying that zu yifen turned and left leaving behind countless experts staring in shock at guo ran the heavens of the heavenly dragon divine armor college had just changed chapter three thousand five hundred ninety seven the heavenly dragon divine armor college was fully shaken the discipline hall spent three days collecting evidence as a result of the three hundred and forty seven traitors nineteen of them were executed for causing the deaths of their fellow sect members the rest had reported secrets of the heavenly dragon divine armor college to the luo clan although that was also a betrayal the heavenly dragon divine armor college had not made any major movements during this time thus they had not suffered any losses even when two whose group was suddenly ambushed in truth that mission was no secret it couldn't even be blamed on those people as the information could have been gathered elsewhere in other words although the heavenly dragon divine armor college had had so many traitors zu yifin still managed to control things during the time that the old devil star field was sealed the college didn't make any major movements resulting in these spies not contributing any value to the luo clan it was all under control the discipline hall's judgment came down as soon as the three days were up other than the nineteen people that were executed the rest were also punished some had their cultivation bases crippled some had the mark of traitors branded on them and some were imprisoned even those that hadn't managed to cause any real damage to the heavenly dragon divine armor college were expelled when the sentencing came down countless people begged and wailed for mercy these experts that were normally arrogant and aloof experts that possessed great authority within the college no longer had any of their previous dignity it made people sigh that it was a shame but sympathy did not quell their rage originally the sentencing of the discipline hall should be personally overseen by guo ran that was to show off his dignity as the proxy dean however guo ran detested such things and refused to go he was not planning on being the dean now that long chen had come he felt that he no longer needed to think about anything other than living happily not alone come while the discipline hall sentenced the traitors guo ran long chen and the others returned to guo ran's residence to hu zai kain kian and the others gathered those that they trusted for a grand feast in celebration although guo ran had been the weakest of the four heroes as long as a person was strong enough they would still have quite a few followers other than to hu zai kain kian and the others that he absolutely trusted there were quite a few other loyal followers having slain wang zixu he had satisfied all of them although guo ran had wept and bawled on the martial stage which was a bit embarrassing and damaging to his image those who understood him knew that it was his grief due to not being able to protect two bao hence none of these people felt guo ran to be embarrassing they only felt even closer and even greater reverence for him even though he was the lowest of the four heroes he treated those beneath him as brothers thus even though guo ran's side was targeted on all sides there were still hundreds of people willing to follow him these hundreds of people had gathered to celebrate him they were even happier than guo ran about him becoming the proxy dean 
they no longer needed to be bullied. Now, when others looked at them, they would look with reverence. Others that had treated them badly before were now extremely courteous. As for those that had bullied them, they were now full of terror and unease. Those gazes were truly refreshing to them. Hugh O'Ran was also excited. He had no interest in being the dean, but the feeling of having vented all of his emotions was amazing. Long Chen wasn't stingy. He directly took out a few jugs of wine and distributed them for the celebration. But he didn't give them bowls to drink out of. Instead, he distributed small cups, otherwise everyone would go crazy for it. This was the wine god Palace's wine. Let alone seeing it before, many amongst these people had not even heard of the name of the wine god Palace. As soon as this wine entered their stomachs, the powerful wine energy spread throughout their bodies, reinvigorating them. Their essence, kai, and spirits merged, promoting each other. That feeling felt like paradise. Although they didn't know what this wine was, they knew that a wine that could increase their power just from drinking it had to be an absolute treasure. Long Chen had told them to sip it slowly. Feeling that this wine was too precious for them, they didn't feel good drinking more of it. Every person only drank three cups before stopping. Long Chen smiled when he saw that. I have plenty of wine, and it's enough to bathe in. Don't worry about my costs. I told you to drink it slowly, because I didn't want you to rush and not digest it. If you directly collapsed from being drunk, you would miss this rare chance. This is divine wine, and it has the best effect the first time you drink it. As long as you don't collapse from it, drink as much as you want. But if you feel like you're going to collapse, take a break before drinking more. Hearing that, those disciples were delighted and began drinking slowly once again. Every time they drank a cup, they felt their bodies change. That feeling was euphoric. Boss really is the boss. Following you, there's food and drink. I don't have to worry about anything. Yuo Ren laughed delightedly as he drank this fine wine. That's right, you little fellow. How did you manage to merge split the heavens with your battle armor? asked Long Chen. Guo Ran chuckled, feeling very pleased. Hee hee, I'm not bragging, but other than myself, no one else could have imagined this. In my devil dragon battle armor, I created eighty-one core parts to take the place of the body's acupuncture points. Then I found a suitable path through the 108,000 scales to embed runes. Boss, I won't lie to you. This took endless testing and experimentation. The failures are definitely greater than a million. But I persevered and I succeeded. Yuo Ran was unable to use the nine forms of split the heavens himself, but he was very smart and split the unleashed power into three parts, the inner, middle, and outer. The inner was his own body, the middle was the portion connecting his body and his battle armor, while the outer was his armor's scales. Split the heavens was too ferocious. His physical body wasn't strong enough to endure the strain that it placed on the body. But relying on the battle armor without the physical body as the lead, there was no way to activate the split the heavens. Yuo Ran had blazed his own path, using his physical body as the start of the attack, his battle armor as the support, and his saber as an extension. Through countless failures, he finally found his own unique activation method. Yuo Ran didn't possess Long Chen's powerful physical body, nor did he feel such an affinity for the heavenly Taoes. Hence, once he used split the heavens, he would receive a backlash from the heavenly Taoes. But this fellow had designed a set of runes to block off the backlash of the heavenly Taoes, placing all the strain on his battle armor while he himself suffered no pressure. After hearing this explanation from Guo Ran, Long Chen couldn't help feeling admiration for him. At least, this fellow had some good points. At the very least, when it came to forging, he was willing to work hard. 
it had to be known that split the heavens was a battle skill from the mortal world the immortal world's laws were different so the original activation method no longer worked even long chen had spent a long time testing in the immortal world before finding a method for unleashing it as for guo ran he was unable to even use this technique but just based on the principles he managed to use the first form of split the heavens with his armor this fellow was undoubtedly a genius in this regard regretfully my devil dragon battle armor can't even be considered a half-finished product there are still many arrangements that i haven't finished it's like a bottomless pit of potential that i haven't tapped into boss are you poor or rich right now you ran's eyes suddenly brightened i suppose i can count as rich said long chen how rich a quick look at Navaloon calm will leave you more fulfilled the soaring dragon is my family i can take out anything from them said long chen with a laugh guo ren's eyes widened boss the soaring dragon you're talking about is it the soaring dragon company yes that's my personal treasury although the majority of the treasures are still stored there i've withdrawn a few just tell me what you're lacking right now long chen laughed could it be that Guo Ran had known that he had too much money to spend, so Guo Ran was helping him take care of this problem? Ha ha ha, boss, as long as you have money I'm not afraid of anything. Guo Ran raised his head and laughed heroically. His devil dragon battle armor had endless potential. As long as he had money, he could increase his combat power limitlessly. Hence, Guo Ran's confidence soared. Chapter 3598 Heavens. This is Dragon Blood Essence Gold. High Purity Hundred Refinement Mithril. Double Essence Fire Wind Copper. Long Chen was taking out all the forging materials he had plundered from the Soaring Dragon Company. When they all appeared on the ground in their private room, Guo Ran's eyes almost popped out. Guo Ran was a forging grandmaster and ordinary materials were no longer able to enter his eyes. But the materials that Long Chen simply tossed to the ground were treasures that he had dreamed of obtaining. Boss, do you really have a collaboration with the Soaring Dragon Company? Why didn't that little fellow Kai and Du Duo inform me? Asked Guo Ran, feeling vexed. Kai and Du Duo, you are in communication with him? Asked Long Chen in surprise. Guo Ran was also surprised and asked, Boss, did you not first find Kai and Duoduo before looking for me? Kai and Duoduo has an important position in the Soaring Dragon Company. I thought that. When Long Chen said that the Soaring Dragon Company was his personal treasury, Guo Ran had thought that it had a collaboration with him just like the Huayan Trading Company. After all, Kai and Duoduo was present there and could pull some strings for Long Chen. Just half a year ago, Kai and Duoduo had come to the Old Devil Starfield, representing the Soaring Dragon Company, to buy some resources from the hands of the major powers. At that time, although the Old Devil Starfield's situation had started to grow serious, it wasn't so severe. The outside world and the old devil Starfields experts still had opportunities to travel between Starfields. When kind Du Duo came to the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College to talk about business, he recognized Guo Ran. The two of them instantly began to weep on each other's shoulders. The news of Long Chen in the dark light heaven was also transmitted to Guo Ran by Kain Du Duo. The latter was in the Soaring Dragon Company which was a competitor of the Huayan Trading Company. As a result, he naturally wouldn't miss any news that came from the Huayan Trading Company. Kayan Duoduo had asked Guo Ran how he was back then. At that time, Guo Ran was having a difficult time, and he hadn't entered the Four Heroes yet. Mentioning it now, it was rather funny. Kayan Duoduo had come with countless guards and attendants, while Guo Ran had been doing so badly that he didn't even have the face to see him. At that time, 
Guo Ran had simply said that everything was going fine in the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College. When Kayin Duoduo asked him what he needed, thinking of using his personal authority to get Guo Ran some benefits, Guo Ran thickened his face to the point of saying that he wasn't lacking anything, rejecting Kayin Duoduo's help. Afterward, Kayin Duoduo left, but he would often send letters to Guo Ran to maintain communications. But in the last two months, the old Evil Star Field was fully sealed off, which cut off all kinds of communications with the outside world. Long Chen had never expected Kayin Duoduo to be doing so well in the Soaring Dragon Company. He actually had such an important position that he was surrounded by guards wherever he went. Back then, Kayin Duoduo had met Long Chen in the sect recruitment trial. He then sold Long Chen a map, and that was how they had met. Long Chen felt that this fellow was truly good as an accountant, so Long Chen had him take charge of the entire Dragonblood Legion's financial affairs. Kayin Duoduo was a natural business expert. Back then, Zheng Wenlong had even joked about taking Kayin Duoduo away. For him to waste away as a fighter in the Dragonblood Legion was a waste of a genius. How did this fellow end up in the Soaring Dragon Company? With his smarts, wouldn't he be in a good spot if he went to the Huayan Trading Company? Asked Long Chen. Hee hee, boss, you don't know? I actually asked the same thing. Why don't you guess what he said? He said that the Soaring Dragon Company doesn't conduct its business cleanly, and he is preparing for when the opportunity comes to suck up their wealth and leave. He wants to re-establish the savings of the Dragonblood Legion, said Yua Ran with a chuckle. Lan Chen's heart warmed. Kayan Duoduo was only an ordinary warrior of the Dragonblood Legion, but he was always thinking of the Dragonblood Legion. To have such a brother, this life had been worth it. Boss, with these materials I can spend a long time upgrading my armor. You should know that my Devil Dragon battle armor can be repeatedly upgraded. I've only set up a tenth of the runes, and I don't know how strong it will be at its full potential. However, I still haven't figured out all the designs, so I don't quite dare to be rash. After all, once those runes are carved, they can't be changed. I really want to find Xia Chen. If I can get his help, there are several problems that can be instantly resolved, sighed Guo Ran. Forging was something that Guo Ran had immense talent in, but runes weren't his specialty. Although he had also learned many inscription techniques, as that aspect related to forging, he was lacking compared to Xia Chen. Even though, in the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College, Guo Ran had reached the peak in this regard even amongst his peers, he knew that he was a far cry compared to Xia Chen. He could forge the complete Devil Dragon battle armor, but he couldn't inscribe all the runes without Xia Chen's aid. The current runes that he had inscribed only occupied a very small portion of the armor. He didn't dare to inscribe too many because the current Devil Dragon battle armor was like a sheet of white paper. He wanted to wait until Xia Chen was present before finishing the design. Without the complete design, he only inscribed the most basic runes. That's fine. Just improve your basic runes so that you can unleash the maximum power of your physical body, and that'll be enough. As for Xia Chen, I feel like he shouldn't be that hard to find. Once the matter in the All Devil Star Field ends, we'll go find him. Then the three of us brothers will join forces to handle a major affair, said Long Chen. As soon as Long Chen found Guo Ran, he thought of a certain possibility. That mysterious dragon expert had brought them into the immortal world and scattered everyone throughout the nine heavens and ten lands. The weird thing was, Guo Ran was skilled in forging, and he just so happened to fall into the old devil star field where the heavenly dragon divine armor college was. If that was not a coincidence, then the others must have been sent to places that suited their strengths. In this case, Xia Chen would be sent to the place most suitable for him. In the violet flame heaven, 
Long Chen happened to know of a place that stood at the pinnacle of runes and formations. Really, Gua Ran instantly grew excited. He should be close, but let's not think about that right now. Focus on raising your power quickly. I came to the old devil star field for two goals. One is to gather certain ingredients for alchemy, while the other is to experience the power of the old devil race. I want to see what connection they have with Lord Brahma, said Long Chen. Hearing that Long Chen wanted medicinal ingredients, Gua Ran immediately sent people to check the storehouses. It went without saying that no one dared to ignore the orders of the current Gua Ran. They were very quick, and in just half a day, all the ingredients that Long Chen needed were gathered. Support us at Navaloon, upon seeing the mountains of medicinal ingredients. Long Chen nodded. Coming here was a right choice. Having come to the source, the precious and rare medicinal ingredients were difficult to obtain at all. This still wasn't enough for Long Chen, but he wasn't worried. This was only the stock in the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College. The other powers must have quite a bit in their hands as well. As long as Long Chen got them all, he estimated that it would be enough to condense the Violet Tower star. Senior apprentice brother Guo Ran, Zai Liur, and Leng Hui are outside asking to see you. Do you wish to see them? After Guo Ran took out all the ingredients for Long Chen, the two of them walked out of the room. Two who immediately gave them a report. Tell them to scram. Why do I need to see them? said Guo Ran darkly. Two who immediately turned, but Long Chen shook his head. Call them in. You can't hide from them forever. You have to face some things directly. Two who looked at Guo Ran. Hence, Guo Ran helplessly said, Go. It's not like I dare to not listen to Boss's words. Two who left, and Long Chen patted Guo Ran's shoulder. If you can't get over your anger when you meet them, you can always give them a beating. I will support you. Really? Gua Ran was delighted. Definitely. Gua Ran laughed when he heard that and walked out with Long Chen. Chapter 3599 This is how you admit your past mistakes. When Gua Ran saw Zai Liur and Lang Hui, he found that they didn't have much shame on their faces. It was different from the sight of them kowtowing and crying as they begged for mercy, which was what Guo Ran had been imagining. No, we aren't here to admit to our mistakes. We came to discuss the war and how to join forces against our common enemies, said Leng Huey. Sai Liur added, the path of cultivation is one where experts strive to defeat each other. Experts are not born that way, but are made through competition. This competition is a path every king must take. It doesn't matter whether the competition is good or bad. It is an iron law that the strong win and the weak lose. The winner is the king, and since you've won, you are the king. We came to express our respect for the king, but that doesn't mean that we did anything wrong before. Guo Ran was struck speechless. When did these two gain such clever tongues? He actually had no words to counter them. They had clearly suppressed him and left him furious, but from their words, it was as if he had to be grateful and thank them for it. Experts are respected in the cultivation world, so who doesn't want to become an expert? To become an expert, you can only continuously challenge other experts. Only then can you make the greatest improvements. We do not believe that we have done anything wrong, said Leng Huey. Bullshit. If you wanted to challenge experts, why didn't you challenge Wang Zixu? You're clearly challenging soft persimmons, raged Guo Ran. Are you a soft persimmon? asked Zai Liur. Guo Ran was once more left at a loss for words. He didn't know how to respond. Long Chen smiled. The two of you have memorized your script very well. It's rare for people to prepare themselves like this. Lang Huey and Zai Liu's calm expressions twitched when they heard that. 
Yu O'Ran exclaimed, No wonder you two are so eloquent today. This little length fellow, you normally just keep repeating the same arrogant words of crap, but you're actually talking reason today. So you came prepared. Yu O'Ran had originally been feeling like these two were acting a bit odd today. Other than saying arrogant words, these two never talked so clearly to him. After being exposed by Long Chen, the two were a bit panicked, but they had already come and could only thicken their faces. Lang Huey clenched his teeth and said, That's simply natural. To lower one's head, to an expert, is not embarrassing. If you want to humiliate us, then go ahead and humiliate us like we did to you. We can endure it. Fuck, if you put it like this, I won't even be in the mood to do it. It seems that you calculated everything perfectly, eh? Raged Kuo ran Navaloon. Come, how could you slap someone who wanted to forge a good relationship with you? Kuo ran was not a person with a vast heart, but if people were going to come to him and ask to be humiliated, there was no way he could do it. Hence, he found himself angry, with nowhere to vent. The two of them didn't say a word in response to this. They had clearly come with various preparations in their minds. A quick look at Navaloon calm will leave you more fulfilled. It seemed that the seniors behind them had given them pointers. Moreover, they had used various moves to harass Guo Ran. Having accurately judged Guo Ran's character, they came up with a plan first. Leave it be. Guo Ran has told me about your matters. You guys have grievances between you, but it is only the result of finding the other side displeasing and not to the point of touching the bottom line. There is still room to discuss things. With powerful enemies right before us, I hope that everyone can temporarily put aside their past grievances and focus on our common enemies. Let us resolve the crisis before us before discussing anything else, said Long Chen. Boss, you're going to make me suffer this grievance silently, demanded Gua Ran a bit unhappily. There's no other way. If you want to wear the crown, you have a heavy responsibility on your shoulders. You should learn from the dean. He endured for thousands of years before he finished his arrangements this time, said Long Chen with a smile. Then why can't you ever endure? You were the ones who taught us to go all out no matter what, to look down on life and death, and that the Dragonblood Legion can eat anything except a loss, said Kuo Ran stubbornly. Long Chen angrily clapped him on the back of his head. Your wings have toughened enough to stand up against your boss, ha? Huh? You've endured for over a year, and now you talk about going all out and looking down on life and death. Yuo Ran's neck contracted upon being struck. Still aggrieved, he said, didn't I only endure because I had no other choice back then? Now that boss is here, why do I still have to endure? Long Chen was speechless. He was about to reply when Zai Liur and Lang Huey suddenly walked forward. They got down on one knee in front of him and cupped their fists. Dean Yuo Ran, if you are displeased inside... Then the two of us apologize for everything right here. This formality immediately made Guo Ran feel a bit embarrassed. He hastily said, I, Guo Ran, am not such a petty person. Did I? I just, I just, I just don't feel happy inside. Why were you allowed to bully me so brazenly, but now that it's my turn to vent, I can't? What kind of justice is this? Can it be that this is the tribulation fated to come into my life? Guo Ran pulled the two of them up. Although he still grumbled, his expression had improved quite a bit. This action of theirs had instantly dissipated quite a bit of his resentment. In truth, Guo Ran was not planning on doing anything much to the two of them. He needed to take on a certain attitude, and this solemn apology was precisely what he needed. Long Chen smiled slightly. The advice that their seniors had given these two was well done. Even the tempo was grasped very well. Furthermore, kneeling on one knee was a specific etiquette given by disciples to the dean. 
Buell Rand was the proxy dean, his status equivalent to the dean's. If they went on both knees, it would be begging for mercy. As heavenly geniuses, the two probably couldn't accept such humiliation, but this other etiquette was acceptable, and it could also resolve Guo Ran's resentment. Their seniors truly had good heads. Guo Ran raised the two of them. The three of them then exchanged a glance, and couldn't help but burst into laughter. This one laugh caused all the hostility in their hearts to vanish. Humans were very curious life forms, their emotions inexplicable. Sometimes they could be consumed by vengeance until death, and sometimes they could wipe away grievances with a laugh. Dean Guo ran. We know that you're unhappy inside, and so are we. You said that you are an ascender from the lower world who didn't bring anything with you. But we have our families, our seniors, and our special resources. That's the only reason we managed to reach our current height. But you, with nothing, still managed to charge your way up. How could we feel that this is just? If we were surpassed by you, wouldn't we be laughingstocks? So how could we not suppress you? Said Lang Huey helplessly. Guo Ran laughed at them, feeling much better inside. This was another way of praising him. This little fellow always liked hearing other people praising him. He was quite vain. All right, then, since we have buried the hatchet, let us sit and discuss the battle plan. Long Cheng got to the important point, as he didn't have that much time to waste. The old devil race was related to Lord Brahma. There might be some secret within that could be useful to him, so he had to quicken the pace. He could feel that the closer he got to the truth, the closer he got to danger. Chapter 3600 The Great Dean himself has said that the battle plan will be left to Dean Guo Ran. We just need to listen to orders, and we'll do whatever Dean Guo Ran tells us to do. There's no need for our opinion, said Leng Huey. Long Chen had killed Wang Zixu, and the Dean had taken that chance to strike while the iron was hot eliminating the spies within the college. They were no fools. He could see that the dean was planning on raising Guo Ran as his successor. Guo Ran would be the dean in the future, and the current dean had prepared the path for him. The current Guo Ran was truly soaring like a shooting star. Anyone who went against him now would be an idiot. Thus, the two of them could only lower their heads. I only listened to my boss planning. I can't be bothered. I'm just in charge of leading the battle. Huo Ran shook his head and pushed the responsibility onto Long Chen, following things just like he had in the Dragon Blood Legion. Then we'll listen to senior apprentice brother Long Chen, said Leng Huey nonchalantly. Surprisingly enough, Long Chen shook his head. Since everyone has buried the hatchet, we will be comrade in arms in the future. Let us speak truthfully. Yuo Ran is only a temporary proxy dean. If nothing unexpected happens, the future dean will be chosen amongst the two of you. Thus, while this battle appears to be something that the dean prepared for Yuo Ran in truth, it is for you too. The ones to profit the most will be you too. What it? Zai Liur and Lang Huey jumped in shock. You mean that you're going to leave? Can it be that not even the position of dean can hold you back? How funny. Pal little college bind me, Gyo Ran. That must be a joke. I am the general of the Dragon Blood Legion. Even if I tell you now, you won't understand. Let me put it to you this way. When the Dragon Blood Legion gathers once more, when we fight throughout the Nine Heavens and Ten Lands, you will understand what real glory is. Do your best to suck up to me now, because once my boss overlooks the heavens, I, Guo Ran, will also rise. I'm not going to be someone that anyone can suck up to then, exclaimed Guo Ran proudly. Theft is never good. Try looking at Navaloon, Kam Zailiur, and Leng Hui both had expressions of disbelief. The Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College was a famous and glorious existence. 
just how much reverence did the dean of such an existence possess. But Gua Ran actually didn't want that title. Getting back to the point, Gua Ran's position is temporary. If the two of you can do a good job and stand out above the masses in this battle, then, unless someone even more outstanding appears in the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College, the position of Dean will fall to the two of you. Thus, you cannot just listen to orders. You have to make yourselves the main characters. Make yourselves stand out. Most importantly, you have to look after everyone properly. Don't just stand in the shade of a big tree. Otherwise, once this tree leaves, if you haven't made any contributions at all, how will you win over everyone? Said Long Chen. Understood. Many thanks for your pointers, senior apprentice brother Long Chen, said Leng Hui gratefully. The reason why they had constantly suppressed Guo Ran as best as they could was precisely for the future position of Dean. And now that Guo Ran had expressed that he had no interest in that position, and Long Chen had even reminded them to take advantage to stand out and make a name for themselves, they were completely won over. When the two of them submitted to Gua Ran, that was because they had no choice. But with this, they were completely revitalized. They immediately followed Long Chen's instructions and went to organize their own people, preparing for battles. Seeing them leave so excitedly, Guo Ran chortled, Boss really is the boss. Now you'll direct me, and I'll direct them. I just need to move my lips and nothing else. Hee hee, I really like this feeling. The two of them have to listen to me, ha ha ha. I'm getting excited just by thinking about it. You know, I feel like if I were to use this opportunity to express myself to that girl Zyliur, she really might agree. Maybe I should try it. Yuo Ran's wretched smile at this time definitely required a beating. Long Chen rolled his eyes at him. This little fellow only dared to talk and brag, but he didn't dare to try anything. However, now Yuo Ran would be able to order them around, and the two of them wouldn't dare to hesitate in the slightest. It could count as allowing him to vent. Yuo Ran, tell me the truth. What do you think about the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College? Asked Long Chen solemnly. Guo Ran sank into thought. If it was before, I would say that the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College was rotten to the bone and could not be cured. But now that I've witnessed the Dean's methods, I realize that what I saw was not the complete Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College. The college still has a great deal of power in reserve. Everything is under the Dean's control, and it has immense potential. What is it, boss? Are you interested in raising this college? Having followed Long Chen the longest, Guo Ran had a certain understanding of how Long Chen thought. All right, then. Since that's the case, I'll put in some effort to raise them. Long Chen thought about it and made his decision. Eh? What? Cultivate a different cultivation technique. That is unacceptable. Within the assembly hall, there were hundreds of elders. When Yuo Ran proclaimed the addition of a new cultivation technique to the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College, the entire assembly erupted in an uproar. Of the assembly's twelve elders, three were executed and six were imprisoned. So, only three were participating now. Since that was the case, Guo Ran had to gather all the elders of the college to announce this. As a result, this announcement caused almost everyone to shoot up and oppose it. One elder said, Dean Guo Ran, this cannot be done. I know you have good intentions, but how can the rules created during the founding of the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College and passed down for tens of millions of years be changed just like that? Exactly. If something happens, the college will decline. The rules that our ancestors passed down cannot be broken. All those elders panicked when they heard Gua Ran's announcement. They could not accept such a reality. I called you over to announce this matter, not to discuss it with you. All you need to do is carry out my orders. This is war. 
anyone who goes against my orders will be executed if my orders cause harm to the college then i you ran will kill myself to atone for my sins but if someone goes against my orders then don't blame me for not being courteous and not caring about seniority all right all of you can disperse after saying that guo ran turned and left the next day guo ran's group of hundreds of followers were gathered by him amongst them were zai kai and tu hu and the others they were all incomparably excited that was because guo ran had told them that long chen would be teaching them a new cultivation technique one that could shake heaven and earth hence all of them were filled with anticipation it had to be known that the reputation of guo ran's boss had long since shaken their ears long chen had only been in the college for a few days but guo ran had undergone such an amazing transformation in their eyes long chen seemed to be an omnipotent existence i will pass down the starry river of the sky art to you starting today you will be the strongest starry river warriors of the heavenly dragon divine armor college looking at those expectant gazes long chen smiled if the starry river of the sky art was combined with the starry river battle armor just what kind of glorious light would it produce